Hey everybody, it is 5.45 in the morning here on the West Coast and we are about to start NL Tout Wars here in about 15 minutes. Um, so yeah, uh, let's see, I'm going to share my screen here so that way, uh, hopefully, if, if it'll let me, um, so that way uh, you guys can watch along as I draft in this NL Tower. Hey there, Nick. Hopefully uh, you guys want to stick around or kind of just check in and check out. I don't know how well this live stream is going to work while I do this necessarily. So um, uh, thank you, buddy. Um, Chicago's own. Love that. I love that. Uh, or Shaka Zone. I like that. I like that handle. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to share my screen. I've, I've done it before, so give me one sec, guys. Thank you, Brad. Um, oh, there we go. Down here, share my screen. Don't show these tips. Um, so share that. Uh, uh, uh. We're going to move this over here. And boom, now I can still see the questions and you guys can see the screen okay? Hopefully that's the case because that's the best I can do. Um, hopefully people from uh, uh, my my league aren't jumping in this and, and trying to get an advantage. Um, I'm going to you know try to do my best to answer questions while I do this. There's some... Uh, um, uh, questions about how it's going to work. Tout Wars has some different rules uh, than a lot of leagues. They have what they call a swing position, uh, and that's what's being discussed, I believe, right now. Uh, and the swing position... Yeah, it, it, 545 is early. Uh, I feel bad for Phil Hurts, who lives in Hawaii. I mean, he lives in Hawaii, so whatever. You know, I mean, he's, he's got his life made already. Um, but it's 2.45 in the morning there right now. Uh, so, uh, uh, yeah, so th that's brutal. Um, you know, I tried to go to bed earlier than I usually do. I went to bed around 11. I tried to get some sleep. Uh, slept okay. I'm still, still waking up. Um, uh, but, um, yeah, so Towers has a few extra weird rules. Uh they have this swing position, which can either be an offensive player, uh, a UT position, or it can be an extra pitcher. So uh, I think they're trying to figure out exactly how that's going to work. I think they gave us all an extra position if I'm, let's see, three, six. Yeah, so they gave us an extra position to fill, uh, an extra dollar. Um so I think that's what they're going to do. And then we just all won't draft our last player. So starting at about 20, looks like about 26 minutes. Uh, got a few people who are just discussing apparently a few weird rules and not no one not in these leagues can draw inspiration or analysis from. Neat. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, Town Wars has always been kind of a league that um, or a collection of leagues that want to try different things, try new things, and some things catch on. You know, they were one of the first industry leagues, if not the first industry league, to move to on-base percentage. So this is on-base percentage league. Uh, you know, Tout X, which is no longer in existence because it kind of became Tout Head-to-Head, -head, uh, used to do experimental formats every year. They would do something different. Um, the, the swing position never caught on. So I don't know why they continue to do it. Um, but it's definitely something. I mean, most people use it because uh, we only run with four outfielders. Uh, and so most people um, use it for their fifth outfield spot. Uh, but gives you a little flexibility in these mono leagues where there aren't a ton of players to kind of do something different. So if you're, you know, right at the end of the draft and you still have that spot open and you go, oh, my God, uh, <laughs> I don't want to put 
um, you know, some crap player in my in my UT spot. But you don't have to. So I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna mute myself for a sec so I can call. The joys of being a smoker um, is uh, a little bit of smoker attack this morning. Hey, thanks, guys. Good to see you, Joel. Good to see you, Nancy. Good to see you, Colin. Um, you know, uh, feel free to ask me questions, anybody, you know, about the format, about anything in general. You know, I got about 25 minutes to kill before we start this. But I'll be doing the live stream, at least to begin with, the whole time. Uh, we'll see if it puts me at a disadvantage because I can't pay attention. I've got a, a, a weird setup this year. I'm not used to doing auctions online. Uh, and I don't like doing auctions online, uh, largely because, uh, uh, largely because you tend to uh, kind of miss out on some of the key parts of an auction, which is, um, you know, being able to stare down your uh, your competition and all that good stuff. Uh, let's see. In the log, there's Todd. This is Jeff. I'll be helping facilitate the auction today. Oh, there we go. Um, so, have fun, except for they have to pay in talent and don't get anything for winning. You know, I get that. And there's some people who complain about that. I, one, they do more, I think, for a lot of industry leagues than others so you know i can't speak to fswa because or not if it was fgsa or whatever it is um you gotta pay to get in that too uh you know um but you know typically there's you know this massive party you know they they rent this huge hall um they get a burger named after you yeah that's a big deal uh, uh i want that burger named after me and i mean there's a ton of uh um, attention on it. So, like, trust me, if, if, if I could charge everybody 150 bucks, uh, you know, in, uh, in TGFBI, I would, but I, not everybody would join. So, um, so I don't mind paying whatever it is. I can't remember the, 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 the amount, um, to, uh, to get in, uh, tout, but, uh, I think the people complain about that are, you know, silly. It's it's a tax write off. If you're making money doing this, you just write it off in taxes. So whatever. Um, let's see. Only people caring about tout are the people in tout. TGFBI. I don't think that's true. Like, don't get me wrong. TGFBI is people really really enjoy that. Uh, but people still care about tout wars. I remember when I was you know first coming up in not in the industry but just playing fantasy baseball. Tout Wars is a big deal, uh, and I still think it is a big deal. Otherwise, we wouldn't be playing it. Uh, plus, it's a uh, it's a really fun event. I mean, you know, you can just see like my competitors right here. We got Phil Hertz, Todd Zola, Steve Gardner, uh, Derek Cardi, Brian Walton, Peter Kreutzer, Lenny Melnick, Gray Albright, Fred Zinke, Tristan Cockroft. Like, this is an awesome fucking league. Um, you know, it's a bummer we don't get to draft in person. So <laughs> Yancey is spicy this morning. Uh, so it, it's it's a fun league um, and a really, really good league. So I enjoy playing in it, you know. Um, yeah, so uh, people are still kind of just filtering into the uh, draft room this morning. Looks like uh, just missing a few people. Oh, great. Gray isn't in yet. Hopefully he hasn't slept through. Um, you slept with a fantasy expert? Uh, I am not refreshed, Cody. I am tired as fuck. Um, you slept with a fantasy expert once. Uh, I have too. I, I, I sleep with one all the time. Uh, it's me. And I'm really good at it. No, I'm just, um, so... Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess I've slept with a fantasy expert too because I've shared hotel rooms with Matt Thompson and um, and uh, Mike Warner. Hey, yeah, Danielle unblocked me. So, uh, but I haven't followed her back. Still, still making a decision on that. But 
Uh, she tweeted out something about her daughter last night and, uh, you know, and relationship to the COVID stuff. And uh, so I told her, hey, you know, if you're, if you're going to tweet pictures of my daughter out, you, you probably should unblock me. And that worked. Tricked her. <coughs> Will Puig sit watching home? No, I don't think Puig's going to sit all year. I think right now everything's kind of up in the air. Uh, so he's got to just wait until things kind of get rolling again. But uh, I think there, there there's a team, there's got to be a team out there that can use him. And since he's not going to come particularly super expensive, I'm sure they will. So some team will give him a pillow contract. Uh, oh, Colette got out of New York. That, that's good to know. Hope you guys hope you guys works it out because half of TGF Bay technically belongs to her. Uh, yeah, I mean technically it does, but there's no monetary value to TGFBI because I don't charge people to be in. Um, and so uh, uh, if she wants to take it, that seems really silly because I'll just take stuff of hers that actually is worth money. Um, you know. Not to mention, she makes more money than me right now, especially because uh, I don't work, start work for another week and a half. Um, and uh, she doesn't want to pay me alimony. She ain't going nowhere. I got I got her anchored down. Are you expecting uh, players uh, to have a 162-game season? I am not. I don't think we're going to have a 162-game season. I'm just hoping we get a season in. Because there is that just fear in the back of my mind that uh, – the season never happens and waking up at five thirty in the morning to be here, uh, is, uh, uh, pointless. But that being said, I'm hoping we're going to move forward. Fred has offered me his third nomination for the set for my seventh. <laughs> that's absolutely nerd. Ah, that's right. Fred Zinke's in this league this year for the first time. Um, which means, uh, trading. I love to trade, but this league is not necessarily super trade friendly. Um, you have a few people in the league who want to get an advantage all the time, and so they're not necessarily willing to make a good trade. But uh, I've made a number of trades in the league, so I think it can happen, and, and Fred will help facilitate that. I, I love Fred, um, even though Fred doesn't have any clue who I am, I think. Uh, but he seems like a super nice guy. Uh, Let's see. If Stan and Drubs, uh, Judge slip on another Benet Peel, uh Puig signs with the Yanks, I think that's quite possible. Um, I also think Cleveland needs an outfielder super badly, and uh, in spite of the late start of the season, uh, Willie Calhoun will likely not be ready uh, to start the year, so Texas could use him. So, um, Are there restrictions on trades? There are no restrictions on trades in this league. You can trade. I mean, there, there's a trade deadline. Um you can trade uh, as much as you want. Imagine waking up at 4 a.m. to draft a fake team of players for a season, a season that won't happen. Um, don't be bitter, Colin. We know you have like 48 teams already drafted. Uh, so uh, <laughs> uh, in TGFBI is fab tonight. I don't believe so. I believe everything's on hold, but I'm uh, I'm not 100% sure on that, actually. Um, that's a really good question. Try to go put in a, a fab bit um, and see what happens. Or, or tweet at Greg uh, or at the NFBC and see, see what they say. But I assume since the season is uh, uh, on hold, uh, that fab is on hold as well. Um, yeah, that's a very good question. <coughs> First fab run will be postponed. Thank you, Colin. No fab tonight in TGFBI or NFBC. What's your favorite of the big fantasy platforms? ESPN, Yahoo, CBS, Fantrax, etc. Okay, so that's a loaded question, but um, it, it largely depends on your format. Uh, if you uh, enjoy, uh, you know, just kind of a standard kind of 5x5 five five league or even head-to-head -head or whatever, I kind of just, you know, and you don't necessarily have like a lot of weird roster restrictions or, you know, it's not a keeper league, things like that. Uh, I prefer ESPN. Um, if you're playing in Dynasty or Keeper, I move away from ESPN. 
Uh, keeper leagues, especially with contracts, I prefer CBS. Uh, and for dynasty leagues, especially deeper leagues uh, in dynasty, I prefer fan tracks because of the player pool. Now, CBS and fan tracks both cost money. Um, so that, you know, you have to factor that in. Uh, you know, I ran in the Friends of Fantasy Benefits dynasty league that originally formed Friends of Fantasy Benefits ran on ESPN because we didn't want to pay the money. So we just kept rosters in a Google Sheets. Uh, you're over CBS, Nancy. I, I get that. I like CBS a lot. A lot of people don't. Um, but I, I, I like it, uh, you know, the ability to customize it. Um, I like the app. That's one thing Fantrax hasn't really figured out yet is the app. Um, so uh, how long will this draft take uh, or take? Wow, I'm still waking up. Um, want to give an idea of how long this TED Talk is. Um, this draft will likely take about four and a half to five hours. So do you need me to go put on like a suit or something? So it seems or, or like stand up and walk around though. The camera will be pointed right at my crotch, which I think will be great for some of you. You'll enjoy that. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, in the, the UI is what sucks. Uh, I don't know what UI is. So um, other than urinary uh, urinary infection um a urinary infection would suck when i eat for breakfast i'm having cool blue uh and, oh, the user interface oh, okay um well if you think the inter user interface sucks here or it sucks on cbs you should see the site we're using for towers which is on roto i just i have a really hard time with that site um so yeah my breakfast i'm having um cool blues 100s always always get the 100s it's just a little bit more tobacco uh for your money um i actually don't think it's any extra tobacco i think it's just a longer uh thinner cigarette but uh and then we're having orange rockstar recoveries which is the drink of champions and also really really tasty uh. Stopped at a light and guy uh, offered to sell me a roll of toilet paper for 10 bucks. Sounds about right. I I mean, don't get me wrong. I think the whole toilet paper thing is super stupid. But doesn't mean when I was in Costco that I didn't feel like a little bit like, oh, man, there's no toilet paper when I get over to where it's at. Do I just offer to buy someone's toilet paper off of them before they like actually check out? For like 20 bucks like here's 20 bucks I'll, I'll go buy this now we gotta poop we gotta poop um so uh looks like we're starting in about 12 minutes <coughs> which means i could have slept for like another half hour um have an apple um well i'm in my office and there is no food in here uh maybe at some point and during one of the breaks i will uh go and get uh uh, go and get something to eat. Um, but right now I'm stuck talking to you guys. So, uh, and I, I appreciate you all joining me. So uh, let's, let's see where we're at. Huh? Got, got a few people watching. I'm okay with that. Um, type in your players as you pick. Um, A lot of discussion going on right now. Oh, Gray made it in. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm using my laptop for the first time. What does mean? The green dot means. Um, you can verify someone who's being drafted. Um, um, came up with a Manson's, uh, murder mansion. Um, Tom Pringle from Bat Loops and Nerds. I was doing a podcast with Joe, uh, Pisa Pia and him. I can't remember if it was Joe or Tom, but it's probably, it's probably Joe. Cause that's, you know, just the way Joe's mind works. Uh, and that's where, it, that's where it came up with. What was your greatest fantasy season 
and what players uh, won it for you. Oh, uh, my greatest fantasy season was probably about three years ago. I won a bunch of leagues. I mean, I was in like 15 leagues, and I won nine of them, and I placed in the money in like 13 and 15 leagues. Um, I honestly can't remember who was on my teams that year. So, uh, but uh, it was... It was just a dream season, and I wish I had been playing in more high stakes leagues. Like it was just every call I made was right. Um, so it was, uh, yeah, um, it was, uh, it was awesome. Um, last year was pretty brutal. Last year was my first. If you talk about just season long, uh, it was my first losing season ever. Which, uh, you know, that largely comes from the main event where I spent seventeen hundred dollars and then lit it on fire. Um, Good morning, Mike. Mike Giannell is no longer in uh, Tout NL. Um, it's uh, a bummer because one of the reasons to switch to Tout NL as opposed to AL was I thought Mike would be in it. And then he switched to AL, which which made me sad. Uh, but it's still a really fun league. Uh, watched Serpico last night as my draft got canceled. Give it four stars. Nice. Nice. I've been watching... Um, the hunters or hunters on uh, Amazon prime. It's uh, Al Pacino and a bunch of other uh, people you'd recognize. Uh, not as well as Al Pacino, but, and it's about uh, Nazi hunters in the 1970s in the U S uh, you know, kind of a gang of misfits hunting Nazis. And it is fantastic. Uh, my wife was really pissed because I told her I wouldn't stay up to watch it last night because I need to go to bed. I'll help. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, that's like the game I play with my wife all the time. <coughs> oh. I'll, uh, Pacino ever do a rotten movie? Yes, Pacino's done really garbage movies. Um, uh, uh, everybody does garbage movies. So, um, and, you know, they want to get paid. Everything can't be great. Um, I wonder if you can you guys even hear the rain right now? It's starting to pour outside, which is going to be great. So, uh, let's see. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, mm -hmm. uh. I think Todd just complained about jet lag from flying from New York to Boston. Seems weird. Oh, maybe that's maybe that's Jeff Erickson talking. Justin, do you see all the hearts I'm giving you? They mean I love you. I don't see the hearts here. Uh, I'm in a program called StreamYard, so I'm not actually um, straight up uh, tweeting from Twitch or not Twitch. Uh, uh, from uh, Periscope or Twitter. Um, so, uh, I can't see the hearts, uh, but if I go back and watch on Twitter, I'll see all the hearts. Uh, uh, but this, this program lets me stream to both YouTube and Periscope at the same time. Uh, do I lift anymore? And if, if no, why not? I do. I do still lift. I just started getting back into it. Um, so many, cl uh, wasted clicks, uh, Erickson is California. I don't think he came in the. Uh, Erickson is in the chat under Zola's name inside of the draft room just to help out if there's any issues. So uh, that's why I don't know. I, I, it looks like there's. They've tried to differentiate it, but I, I'm not really paying attention closely. So uh, draft's going to start in six minutes. I'm going to take a quick break and run inside uh, and use the restroom before it starts. So I'll be right back. Uh, if anybody jumps into the chat and wondering where I'm at, just let them know. I'll be right back.
Where to do? All right, guys. <sighs> Starting in about two minutes. I don't even know why I'm wearing headphones. I can't hear anybody. Um, let's see. What did I miss in terms of questions? Uh, people are complaining because they don't have sound. Uh, um, I ha Did you guys hear any sounds? I don't know. Um, <laughs> Mike's so mad about you, he's Mara Petit. Um, and, um, <laughs> you say the stream is better than no, uh, uh, no host. I left the sound on in the draft room. We'll see how loud it is for you guys, especially. But I wanted to be alerted when things are happening. So... Got all my sheets ready to go. We'll see how many of them I actually use. Um, because it may be difficult to do everything while uh, it's in. Sound is good. Okay, so it wasn't super loud. Um, actually, I haven't even heard anything yet. So, I don't know if it's super loud or not. Fart is an icebreaker. Why is everyone washing... Some washing hands song, uh, "Stairway to Heaven," my washing hair so, or washing hands song. I want like eight minutes there. All right, thirty seconds to go. Uh, returning champ with the first throw, which is tradition in this league. Tradition in a lot of leagues. Game time. Stay frosty. Let's do this. Uh, tradition is old as time. Who are my who am I throwing first? I made a promise on a live stream last night that I would throw Lewis Brinson first just for the hell of it. So we'll see who Phil throws first. I don't throw for a little while. I was watching man's turning Japanese. I love that. That's great. Okay, so we got I, I don't see anybody thrown. Oh, they're they're still oh. There we go. Jacob DeGrom. Up to, I got up to 37 bucks on Jacob DeGrom. I'm likely not going to win the bid on DeGrom, but I'm definitely going to pu push Derek Cardi up unless I get him at 37 bucks. Okay, there we go. So I've got two setups. I've got a paper setup, and then I've got a computer setup over here. That's weird. Uh, weird sounds. I don't, can you guys hear all that? So he was bought at thirty-eight bucks, um, which is not a bad price considering. All right. Uh, <sighs> Fernando Tatis. Um, I'll be checking in with you guys over in the over there. Um, Tatis is going to likely, again, go higher than I'm willing to spend. But let's take a look at my my value sheet and see where I have Tatis. Uh, Going once. Going once. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go up to 28 on Tatis and see what Gray does. I'll just push Gray up a few bucks. So... Uh, Mark him off my sheet. Oh, he's already up to 30 bucks. So I had I had uh Tatis as a $28 player. He just went for 30. So good for me. Um Fred Zinke got him. Yeah, th this shit is gonna take forever. Um, especially if people don't nominate quickly. All right, we got a Cunha going. So, uh, Cunha get another player. Probably not gonna be able to to win in this. 
and he's already gone above where I have him. So going mark him off my sheet. It's at 44 bucks to Peter Kreutzer right now. And this is uh, uh, let's see, he went for 44 bucks to Peter. That's four bucks over I have or what I have him. Uh, we got Chris Bryant thrown out. Um, Chris Bryant, I have. He's already above what I had. So. I had him as like a twenty-six dollar player. He's already at thirty bucks. So more than I'm willing to pay. Let's see. He's thirty bucks. Sold to Derek Hardy. Oh, Derek getting involved this year. Derek Derek got outbid on a lot of players last year early, and he was very upset. So, yeah, I don't have much interest on Bryant, but it's all about values in an auction. I mean, anybody can be worth bidding on. So, um, if the price is cheap enough, right now we got Kettle Marte going. I assume that Todd Zola will be buying him, no matter what. But I definitely want to just check my values on him. Uh, and he's way above it already. So it's twenty six bucks, and I have him as a twenty one dollar player. Um. All right, great ombre. Jack Flaherty up. Already thrown out twenty five bucks, which means I'm probably not gonna have him. Um. Seems like players are going fast and furious, so maybe I'll be end up playing the middle a little bit more in this draft. Um, uh, going once, going twice. Uh, team, I'm gonna put him on Brian Walton's team. Because he's a cardinal, so of course Brian has him. Brian's a really good player, though. Brian, he he was. Oh dear, Josh Hader. Here's a guy that I will likely get, uh, depending on what the price is. So closers tend to not go for as much, but I think he has. I think Hader has a ton of value in this league. Let's see, I just bid bid twenty three dollars on him, so which is right where I have him. All right. That's my first player is Josh Hader. Um, so I got to nominate a player, and I made a promise that I would nominate Lewis Brinson uh, at $1. <laughs> so eligibility thresholds 15 games, which makes uh, things a little bit more interesting. Um, so... Uh, Let's see. Uh, let's see if anybody wants to go two dollars on Lewis Brinson. <laughs> Doesn't look like it. I can't even find Lewis Brinson in my software. All right. There we go. <laughs> People are very confused about my Lewis Brinson buy at a dollar. That's okay. People can be confused. <laughs> Phil said, actually, if it had been later in draft, I might have gone too. Yeah, you're damn right you might have gone too. That's why I throw them out now. Sometimes you throw out the cheap players early and make people make a decision. So, uh, you know, we're all going to have crappy players on a team. That's part of... Drafting NL or AL only. And here we go, Christian Yelich. Uh, let's uh, we'll just bump it up to 40, guys. 
Uh, Yelich. Right now, I'm, I'm the leader on Yelich with 43 bucks. It's an OBP league, so I thought he might go for more, but I'm going to be. Oh. All right. Yelich with 43 bucks is right where I had him. So uh, I guess I will be in on some of the early bidding, which I'm totally cool with. Uh, I, le I, I love having Yelich on my team in, in a league like this. Uh, and then we got Cody Bellinger going. Um, oh, I want to make sure that's change that. Bellinger, I have there. Uh, I've bumped him up to 40, so oh, he's right at 41. So that, that ends that. Gray getting uh, Cody Bellinger. Would have liked to have Bellinger too, but you know, otherwise I'm I'm starting moving into stars and scrubs category, which is always great. So because uh, you really need your scrubs to hit. How many people end up with cash left over? Very few people leave with cash left over. Uh, people are pretty good, and plus, Tout has a rule where if um, Thanks, Mike. I like Britson as a spec play, too. All right, so Walker Bueller up now. Um, but I doubt I'm going to be in on him at his price either. So, uh, no, I've got Bueller higher than than I thought my projections would have him at. Um, but he's already over 30 bucks. So, um, uh, so Tout has a rule where if you if you have a player who gets injured – in season and is out for the year. So if a player gets injured and you end up having to drop him, uh, he is worth uh, 10 times the amount you paid for him in auction at, in fab. So you pay 10 bucks for someone, he's going to be worth a hundred bucks in fab, which is huge. So if you lose a really big name player, it's not as big of a deal. So, um, uh, sorry, I got to catch up and figure out, uh, how much uh, Walker Bueller went for? Um, he went for thirty bucks. Uh, to let's see, Soto's going right now, so let me make sure I'm not left out on him. Going twice. Uh, he's over my press. So uh, let's see. I think Kreutzer won Bueller. 30 bucks and then gray just bought soto for uh for her 40 bucks gray's gonna run out of money here soon um let's see gray now has Um, why am I seeing Gray's name? Gray already has, he only has 154 bucks left with 20 players to get. All right. Did I want Brinson? I did want Brinson. So, yeah, no, I wanted Brinson. Um, Noah Syndergaard being bid on. Um, so I'm not going to be in on Syndergaard at this price. Bueller's gone. Flaherty's gone. Going twice. So, uh, all right. So Zola got twenty-two bucks on uh, Center Guard. Uh, we got Victor Robles. He's a guy you got last year that paid off really well for me. Um, got him. Let's see. I have him as a twenty-four dollar player, and I got a twenty-three dollar bid on him right now. So let's let's uh 
Oh, there you go, Tristan. He's yours. Um, and he got Lenny just bought Robles at twenty five bucks, a bit more than I was willing to spend. And I've already got some speed with Yellich, so I'm not super worried about it. <coughs> I think I'm just going to update my software at the break. Because this is getting intense. And we got, who's this? Trey Turner. Turner's a guy I like. Um, except for he's already gone over my bid. So. <laughs> oh, there we go. Uh, Matt Williams can do the breakdown for me on on uh, Brinson. Once. Uh, where is Robles in the software? Oh, there we go. Robles at twenty five bucks. Bidding is now open. Twenty. Uh -huh. And then that was Cockcroft to Turner, thirty-four dollars. Oh yeah, Ozzy Albies. Going twice. Players going back over my going twice. over my prices, so it gives me a little chance to kind of uh, kind of update my sheets and stuff. Um, Okay, and who got that? Kreutzer for Albies at twenty-two bucks. Albies at twenty-seven bucks. Well, Kreutzer, it's way over my value. We're at Pete Alonzo. Um, I'm not in on really this year, so. Those good price right now. Uh, twenty nine bucks is right where I had him. So, um, Scott Wilderman, I think, gets this first player twenty nine bucks. <coughs> So we got Max Scherzer. I'm interested to see where his price goes with you know him being banged up. Um, I don't want to spend thirty dollars on a pitcher. Uh, but he's worth thirty dollars to me, so oh, just went at thirty to thirty one dollars. Derek Cardi loves his studs. It's a good price on Scherzer for Derek, uh, but I just don't know that I want to spend that much. There's such a, a lull in the starting pitcher game last year in NL Tout that I kind of learned my lesson. All right, so now we're uh, hard bidding on Kirby Yates. I'm out on Kirby Yates um, because... Uh, I have a hater, so I'll let other people bid him up uh, and enjoy that. Uh, going twice. Um, went $18 for Zola, you know, considering I spent. All right, so my turn to nominate. Um, I'm going to throw out Mookie Betts. I'm not really super interested in having Mookie Betts on my team, you know, unless the price is right. And I think the money he's going to draw from the auction will be beneficial. Can you run down a current pl my current players and what I paid? Yeah, I paid a uh, dollar for Brinson, uh, forty three dollars for Yelich, and twenty three dollars for Hater. Um, 
Uh, Mookie is. I'm I'm gonna bid on Mookie because I have him as a thirty eight dollar player and he was at thirty five. So I'll take him at thirty six. I knew someone would would take him from me. It's still a good buy at thirty seven bucks. Um, but. I'm kind of ambivalent on Mookie this year, so I'm not working about it, uh, worrying about it uh, too much. Uh, and get some money off the table right there for sure. 23 seems decent for It is in this format, especially in a shortened season when relievers are going to be getting less innings um, than average. Uh, Kershaw's up. Got to think Cardi will be in on Kershaw. Um, so. Let's see what I got him at. All right. So he's already over what I got him at. So I'm not going to worry about him. Uh, I had him as like a 20, $21 player, and he's at 24 I think that's Steve Gardner's first player. It's interesting. Here we go, Fred Zinke nominating. <sighs> I'm, I'm getting a ton of mentions on Twitter right now, but I don't have time to look at them. So, <laughs> someone tweeted, someone DM me, I cough so much, it makes me want to smoke weed. Uh, yeah, it's kind of early morning right now that I'm, I'm, you know, still getting my wind under me being a smoker. So, Strasburg's up right now. Definitely won't be in on Strasburg. Uh, and I'm assuming he's already up. Oh, no, he's right at where I had him as value, but I just I don't trust Strasburg. So, Cockross got him for 23 bucks right now. Tristan's always a tough player. Uh, you seem be priced out on high end guys. I am priced out a little bit on high end guys, and that's okay. I don't, I don't mind playing in the middle. Um, it means the less crappy guys on my rap roster. You know, I already got one with Yellow, or, or with uh, Brinson. Mm. Chris Paddock is a guy I could be in on. Uh, so let's see. Um. <sighs> I got 22 bucks on Paddock. So let's see if that gets it done. Oh, it looks like it's gonna. All right. All right. That means I've already spent 65, $88 on pitching. So. Pitching is going to be um, pitching is going to be cheaper for me the rest of the way. Uh, I love Paddock a lot this year, so I'm going to have lots of shares of Paddock. So Paddock is my f oh did I oh no I don't have eighty eight dollars on pitching. I just have. Forty-five dollars on pitching because I just added Yelich to my pitching count. Yeah, I love I love JT Romuto, but I'm I'm not spending twenty-five bucks on him, and right now he's at twenty-four bucks to Zola. What's my cap at pitching? I tend to want to spend uh, about eighty-five bucks. I don't I, I I'm a fluid kind of guy. Am I left-handed? No, I'm not left-handed. I'm right-handed. Um, I uh, didn't want to spend, you know, 80, 85 bucks on pitching. Um, but it, it's a very fluid situation. Last year I spent almost a hundred bucks on pitching in this league. And it definitely hurt me. So, uh, cause there were a lot of really good, there were really a lot of really good pitching deals at the end last year. And I, I wasn't able to capitalize on them. So I'm trying to be a little bit more judicious in how I do that. 24 bucks for real Muto to Zola. Uh, all right, so we've got Keston Hira, who I've got. 
under that price. So I like Hira this year, but also like is this league a good league to speculate on rookies? Yes, because you can stash them. <laughs> uh, we got four reserve spots, so um, like Craig, Greg got Hira for twenty three bucks. All right, you Darvish up. I assume he's going to go for more than I'm willing to spend, and I already have Paddock and Hater, so probably going to be out, and he just went above my bid limit, so that does that. Um, um, looks like Scott's going to get him for 23 bucks. Not a bad price. Oh, no, it's Fred Zinke just jumped in. For twenty four bucks. All right, you drafted sale in my honor last night. Uh, I wouldn't draft sale. Can you announce the nominated player and the prices? I will try. Uh, Trevor Story right now um, is being nominated, and he's a guy I could definitely be on. on. Um, because I like him being in Colorado, obviously. Um, so we'll, we'll see where he goes to. I know what my price is on him. So, and I'm at it 31 bucks right now for Trevor Story. I really didn't want to do a Stars and Scrubs team, but oh, there goes Derek jumping me up. He didn't need to go to 30, 33. Um, but he did. Uh, oh, and Fred Ziggy jumps in for 34. Um, uh, yeah, exactly. That's that's why I was willing to go the extra buck on Paddock. Was I do. Uh, with no in, no innings issues this year in a shortened season, I think he could be uh, a really good buy. Zola always has a plan there, Cody. Um, I don't know what it is, but he has a plan. Um, all right, Eugenio Suarez going right now. I wonder if it'd be interesting to see what people bid on him, considering you know he's injured now, but may not be once the season starts. So um, already above. Where I would take him. So, going twice. So, you, sir, you had the highest bid. And he goes to Derek Cardi, Eugenio Suarez for 27 bucks. All right. I've never done an auction, and this is neat. I, I do prefer auctions to snake drafts. Can you guys even hear the auction room? Let me know if you can. I know it's loud in my ear, but I don't know how loud it is for you guys. I do prefer – usually just build your team a lot of different ways, which is uh, a lot of fun. Um, Trevor Bauer. I wonder how much last night's game affects Trevor Bauer. So, Oh, good. I'm glad you guys can't hear it as much. Um, because it's super fucking loud in my ear. Like it's like someone screaming it at me. So maybe – Maybe I'll take it off like that, and that'll oh, that'll be a little bit better. Okay, that's better. Uh, might be able to reveal your production with the price not each nominated. That's hard to do. Everybody's got different values. Um, though Trevor Bauer just went for twenty two bucks, which is about eight bucks above my value for him. I thought I thought I liked Trevor Bauer, so I really love the auction voice four hours from now. Yeah. Yeah, no, this is not going to be fun. All right, Luis Castillo has been thrown out. Uh, he's, again, going to go above where I have him, so let me update my thing. Steve Gardner won Trevor Bauer. Uh, for 22 bucks. Uh, and then Scott Wilderman just bought... Luis Castillo for twenty two bucks. That's not a bad price, but just not with already having Paddock and Hater. I don't know that I want to spend that kind of money. 
Arenado. There we go. Everybody wants a little bit of Colorado in their life. Um, uh, I got a thirty-two dollar bid on Arenado right now. Um, I'll go to thirty-four, but that's all I'm gonna go. And Kreitzer gets him. Arenado to Kreutzer for thirty-five bucks. I had him as a thirty-three dollar player. And I went to 34 just because I love having Arenado. It's time for me to nominate a player. I'm going to nominate Freddie Freeman. Let's see how that works. So. Thank you. Take him down like a dinner size cookie. That's right. No one's even mentioning batting, which would be, embarrassment, which would be the bare minute I'd ask for. I don't know what that means. Um. Uh, <clears throat> all right. So Freeman's already at thirty-two bucks, and I just don't trust that elbow, even with a shortened season, or if we have a shortened season. Uh, Three, four dollars to Scott Wilderman for Freddie Freeman. See, I got a few people watching. So let's see. So so far, I've got Lewis Brinson for a dollar, Christian Yelich for forty-three dollars, Hater for twenty-three, and Paddock for twenty-two. Uh, David Price was just thrown out by Gray Albright. Um. And I've got him for thirteen dollars a player, but he's already at fourteen to fill hurts. So I guess that solves that problem. Let me find the price in my software. The setup is not ideal. We've got way too much stuff going on. Right, so he's David Price for sixteen bucks to Phil Hurts, the returning champ. Phil had a Pretty awesome season. Um, I'd like to think I helped him win that because I made a trade with him that kind of sealed it for us. <laughs> you had a set, Lewis Brinson. So I let off with it, my first throw. I said on a live stream last night uh, uh, that I'd throw Lewis Brinson out first at Tautors for a buck. If I got him, I got him. If I didn't, whatever. Um, <clears throat> I wasn't going to go more than a buck, but I got him. So I was, I was very happy about that. Max Muncy, and everybody knows I love Muncy. Um, the question is, how much do I love Muncy? And that is the question we're going to find out right here. Right now, I have them at twenty-three bucks. So now I'm twenty-six bucks. <laughs> Going twice. Going twice. Oh God damn it, Zinky! Oh, shit. Going once. Oh, I'm going to do it. $30 for Max Muncy. Oh, my God. That fucking hurts. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Going twice. Mm. Oh, my God. That hurt. I had him as a $27 player. I just spent 30 because I love him so much. Uh but he can fill a lot of different positions for me. And in an NL only league, uh, just draft the entire yellow trade. That's funny. Um, uh, Muncy can fill in a lot of different positions, first, second, third. So I like having that kind of flexibility on my roster. Plus he walks, so that helps. Uh, VR is up right now. VR is going to go for a lot more than I think I'm willing to spend. And he already has. He's at... 25 bucks as I have him as a $21 player. So um I'm I'm not going to I'm not going to play that game. I've already got some speed already with uh Yelich and Brinson. Brinson brings the speed, not much, but he brings some. Let's see where am I in terms of money? 
got 142 bucks left, which is uh, some bunch of people who are below me, so not too bad. But I think I have the few. I think I have the most players bought. Yeah, I do. Uh, um, okay, so that was VR for 26 bucks. Uh, we're at Wilson Contreras. He's at fifteen bucks right now. I have him as a sixteen dollar player. Now he's at sixteen. So, hey, I'm glad you're enjoying it. How many dynasty leagues am I in this year? I think I'm in four or five. Um, the I'm in. Let's see, three on CBS, one on Fan Tracks. I think that's oh, so a four. Um, I'm glad you like the live stream there, Mox. Um. This is, uh, it's fun to do. So $17 for Wilson Contreras. Scott Walderman's going to run out of money here. He, he didn't spend at first, and now he's just spending everywhere. Um, uh, I spent too much at on catchers last year. I didn't realize the league wouldn't spend as much as I thought. Um, so now we got Madison Bumgarner up for bid. Definitely won't be ending up with him. So, kind of clear up some of the names off my sheet. See the price went. So I'm doing this on paper and then I have draft software. Hey, I'm glad you like the PDF. Um, if people still want it, uh, you can email me, justinmasonfantasy at gmail.com, and uh, it's $7. So, or you can go to Amazon and get the actual book. It's it's huge, huh? It's 477 players. Or players 477 pages um all right but bumgarner only went for 12 bucks which is a steal um i think uh, all right we have kenley jansen who i already have hater so i'm not going to be bidding on jansen unless he goes for an obscenely low price but there are a couple people in this league that just punt saves. So he's already gone for more than I think I had him for. Anyways, he's a, he just got bought for 16 bucks um, by uh, by Gray Albright. Another guy who's going to run out of money, probably. Um, uh, Gray Albright, 16 bucks for Jansen. Patrick Corbin. This guy I've gotten a few shares of this year. Um, but again, already over what I'm willing to spend. So that's good enough for me. Uh, so right now, Zinke has him at 22 bucks. That looks like what it's going to be. This one I got it for Paddock, so actually it's a pretty decent buy. But I like Paddock a lot this year, especially with a short season. Um, great idea for Sunday morning. What draft? So I, I use the RotoWare draft software. I'm not using the values or anything, but just to kind of keep track of categorical imbalance for myself um, to make sure I'm hitting all the categories I need to hit. Uh, and I don't have to do it off the top of my head, especially this early morning. What is PDF? It's a Friends of Fantasy Benefits draft guy. Um, so uh, a bunch of player previews, strategy guides, ATC projections, and auction values. Um, so it's uh, uh, I think it's well worth the seven bucks personally, but um, it just uh, we really went all out this year, it hasn't sold very much <laughs> this year, but that's okay. That's the, the money isn't always what's important, right, guys? I'm poor. Uh, all right. Keone Kella just went for 10 bucks to Scott Wilderman. And now we got Manny Machado. Um, and he's already at 26 bucks. I have him a $25 player. Um, 
So uh, you can search on Amazon if you just want the book form and not the PDF. I think it's like $13.99. Um, and it is uh, called The Fantasy Benefit. It's a, it's a Friends of Fantasy Benefits draft guide. Machado for 27 bucks. To Steve Gardner. And then we got Rizzo. Rizzo's a guy I wouldn't mind having. It feels like he's underrated a bit this year. Yeah. He's already been pushed over 30. So a little bit more than I'm willing to spend. Especially with all the guys who are still available. How many games from MLB season? I'm going to say 120 this year. I think there's 120 games this year. I think they're going to try to get in 162. I just don't know if that's going to be possible. Lenny just keeps throwing out closers because Lenny doesn't buy closers. Um, so maybe I'll join him. Maybe I'll throw it out an Edwin Diaz and soak up another closer for people. Uh, yeah, I think Goldie can return similar value um, as well, and I've got him priced around uh, around the same. And also, it's an OBP league, so guys like Josh Bell and Reese Hoskins and uh, who walk, you know, also have added value as well. So, you know, their batting average doesn't hurt you because it's a, you know more about the OBP. Thirteen dollars on Craig Kimbrell, apparently. Oh, I need to catch up here because uh, Rizzo just went and I didn't add him. Um, what did I say? Kimbrell or Rizzo went for? He went for thirty bucks or thirty-one bucks to Phil Hertz. Oh, and I'm on the clock, so um, let me take a little bit of time here to catch up. Uh, and then I'll throw out Edwin Diaz because I don't want him, and it gives me a chance to kind of catch up. Kimbrell uh, for $14 to uh, Phil Hertz. He's, Diaz is only at 13 bucks. Um, now he's at 16. Okay. That's where I had him. So. Good price on Diaz. The closers aren't overpriced in NL. I don't know what they're like in AL. But they're not overpriced here. So... 15 team dinosaur would take Franco at 25. Franco at 25. Oh, round 25? Which Franco are you talking about? I, I'm, I'm a little confused by that. I, I can't really answer like a ton of like questions like this right now, though, guys. So uh Bryce Harper, 22 bucks. This is a price guy who's gonna go for money. Um Oh uh, shit! My uh, <clears throat> I almost missed out on that bid. Do you love Alex Dickerson as much as I do? I feel like he'd be a one dollar twenty. No, I don't. I don't love Dickerson. The whole situation in the Giants outfield is a bit convoluted. Harper just went for thirty-seven dollars, um, <clears throat> which was. I had him at 36, uh, and I was in on it, but I'm just I'm not going to go over my values right at this moment unless it's someone I really love. Um, but that was uh, that was Phil Hertz for 37 bucks on uh, on Harper. <clears throat> Pick 25 Wander, a oh, Wander Franco um, in a dynasty league. I, I don't like doing that, I, that, but that's just me. That's kind of plays into my strategy of I don't like. 
you know, paying for the future necessarily in Dynasty. I want to win right away. Uh, but, I mean, I don't think that's an awful price. Uh, yeah. Oh, people are jumping back in on Aaron Nola right now. 23 bucks. Far above where I got him. Lenny Melnick for 23 bucks on Aaron Nola. All right. Seems like people are kind of getting the hang of this right now. So we got Hector Neris that's just been thrown out. Um, Thirteen bucks. Not a bad price. Not a bad price at all. Um, oh, he just went to fourteen. Let's see if Derek wants to bump him. Starting to run out of guys who deliver consistent saves, for sure. Scott Wilderman, 14 bucks for Hector Neris. I just, I you know, with Hater, I don't need another closer for a little while. Well, the misses me making an appearance this morning. I hope she's getting to sleep in. Um, that's my hope, so we'll see. Omar Narvez. Yes. Already above my bid limit, which was eleven bucks. Or he's at eleven bucks right now, so I'm gonna go a little bit cheaper on catcher this year, so um, and also not clog it in in case there's some uh, good uh, buys. So He's already up to 13 bucks, and that's what he went for. But that is more than I was willing to spend for sure. Um, who got him? That was Scott. Hmm. Um, All right, waiting on someone to to nominate. Mike Soroka, my boy. Um, I'm not finding him on my sheet though. He's in 19 bucks. That's okay. I don't I love Soroka, but sticking with my bids and I can't find them. So oh, there he is. Oh yeah. No, I have him as a $14 player. I'm not gonna spend that. All right. Uh all right, so Soroka just went for 19 bucks. And we got Will Smith catcher. Two bucks to going once. Going once. Going twice. All right. So Will Smith catcher just went to Peter Kreutzer for fourteen bucks. Um, which was uh oh right at my Price point. Uh, now we got Paul Goldschmidt. So let's see what Goldie should go for and what he will go for. It's always, it's always uh, kind of a different question, right? So we've now got people who bought as many players as me, but I think I have more money than all of them. What did I have? Goldie. Yeah. Uh, I'll go 27 on him. Um, that's 
a dollar less and oh i had them for you and and brian walton jumps in and brian walton is a big cardinals dude so he writes about the cardinals um he buys a lot of cardinals and 28 bucks was um the price point i had them for so i wasn't going to go over that uh so 28 bucks for goldschmidt and that's for brian uh, Charlie Blackman is on for bidding, and we have Charlie Blackman. Got to move all my sheets. Got all this paper here. Uh, Charlie Blackman is already above my limit on him, so uh, I got hurt. So I'm gonna update my sheet a little bit because outfield was kind of buried um my wife is hilarious she is we discuss plans for podcasts during the downtime uh, i'd love to do a podcast with my wife uh i don't know that she really would like to do that so that's why we haven't done it unfortunately um, okay so uh blackman went to zola for 28 bucks it's not a bad price but just a bit over where i had him Uh, now we got Jeff McNeil, who I like a lot. McNeil at 20 bucks is not what I like. So, uh, multi position eligibility is pushing people up. Um, I overpaid on Muncie for sure, but I'd rather overpay on Muncie than overpay on Jeff, Jeff McNeil. Um, Uh, he, Jeff McNeil goes for 24 bucks to uh, Phil Hertz. Uh, and now we have Brandon Woodruff, another guy I've got a lot of shares of this year. Wouldn't mind getting another share, but he's already gone over. What I was going to be willing to spend on him. So that ends that discussion. Um, solo. 21 bucks for Brandon Woodruff. I like Brandon Woodruff, but well, actually, in a shortened season, I probably should have bumped him up a few extra dollars, but it still wouldn't have gotten it done. Reese Hoskins, that's a guy I could be in on. So I like Hoskins in OBP for sure. And my guess is he still goes cheaper than some other first baseman. And he's already at 26 bucks. So that's, and I, I've, I've got the leading bit on him. Oh, do I want to go 28? I do not want to go 28. Oh, that's a bummer. I was actually hoping to get Reese Hoskins. OBP, you know, OBP definitely helps his value quite a bit. Um, it's my turn to nominate, but I want to get this guy there. And then, um, you know, a really hot player this year has been Starling Marte. So let's see if we can soak up a little bit more money off the clock. So and then double check where my money on him is. Oh, it's already over there. All right. So Marte is going to go to someone else because I'm not willing to spend the price. Going twice. Going twice. $30 to Zola. I knew Zola would jump in on him. 
I should have probably thrown him out first, knowing how much Solo loves him. But I made a deal throughout Brinson. I made a deal. And I got him. I got Brinson for a dollar. League over. I don't even know why we're still drafting this thing. Marcelo Zuda now um, is up. And we have... Oh, he's at 13. Another. This would be interesting. Will he go to Brian Walton since he's not a Cardinal anymore? Does he feel betrayed? Oh. He just got to my bid limit on him, which was 24 bucks. Um, and that means Zola is going to get him. I like Ozuna this year, just not quite that much. Um, so, oh, if I got to sit in this chair for five hours, we're going to have some problems tomorrow. Tommy Pham now being bid on. Pham is an interesting guy as well. Um, my guess is where the prices are still right now. He's he's already at he's at my bid limit, so um, that can end that. He's already at thirty bucks, and I'm not spending thirty bucks on him. Brian Walton, thirty bucks for Tommy Pham. Uh, if you're, if you have any questions you guys want to ask, you can, um, you know, I'll get to them as I kind of go through and say, uh, that was a question someone already asked. Um, uh, you know, as long as they don't make me think too hard, oh, Garrett Hansen, someone is just like trying to troll me here with Garrett Hansen, but I'm back in baby. I'm back in. Um, Question is for how much? Uh, I'm, I'm going ten. Someone went eleven. Uh, I'll go twelve. Going uh, twice. I have him as a twelve dollar player. Oh, thank you, twelve dollar player. Oh. Oh, wait, no, I did get him. Okay. So I got Garrett Hampson. I love me some Garrett Hampson. 12 bucks. It's not a huge investment. I didn't have him in Tau last year, so that worked out well. Um, ooh, and he's got shorts off, shorts off eligibility in this league. Huh, that's awesome. That's great. I love that. Uh, so Wilson Ramos is being bid on right now. Um, he's at eleven dollars, which I have him at eleven or twelve. Now he's at thirteen, so that makes that decision a bit easier. Looks like looks like I'm gonna go cheaper on catcher this year than last year, which worked out, which will work out better than last year because last year I had Posey and Cervelli, um, which did not work out well at all for me. So. Um, Ended up streaming catcher quite a bit once Billy got hurt. And then I think Posey got hurt too. So, you know, it was by the end, I think I had like uh, that farmer dude um, and like Tyler Flowers. He's a guy I might be in on this year. But again, I like Flowers, especially for the price. So I'll run down my team real quick. I got Max Muncy at $30, which is probably an overpay. Hampson at 12, Brinson at 1, uh, Yelich at 43, Hader at 23, and Paddock at 22. Um, so, okay. start figuring out with the prices what I want to spend on pitching. Um, so, uh, Uh, 
just doing some math on my on my phone as opposed to doing it in my head. Sorry, guys. Um, all right, so we got Archie Bradley going. I like Archie Bradley a lot. Uh, he's already at twelve bucks, um, so I think I'm gonna pass because I had him as a as a twelve dollar player. Goodbye. I like that. Okay, so we need to update real quick and put Wilson Ramos for thirteen dollars to Peter Kreutzer. I don't think Peter has any catching spots left. Um, I'm pretty sure he's the one who got Will Smith, too. Um, oh, uh, Con Conforto is up right now. Uh, I'm going to miss out on him, but that's okay. Uh, he went for 25 bucks. I had him for 26 so maybe I should have gotten the extra dollar, but I'm okay. I, I, I want to get some deals here, and some people are starting to really kind of give up a lot of their money. So, uh, catcher in a league like this, um, it's really dependent on the auction. Last year, I spent more on catchers because I felt like the, pa the pricing was um, really uh, kind of undervaluing. Um, and this year, uh, I'm, I'm doing that a little bit less. Uh, or I'm, I'm, I've been in on catchers, but I haven't really been in that much on catchers. Uh, Steve Gardner got. Um, uh, oh, oh, why did it switch out of my. All right, so. For $11 to Steve Gardner. Um, okay, so that was Zach Wheeler just went for 19 bucks. I'm not a Wheeler guy, so I'm okay not spending money on him. Uh, and I believe he went to Derek Cardi. Oh, no, he went to uh, Lenny Melnick. Um, and now we're uh, now we're bidding on Adam Eaton, another guy that I'm not super interested in. Uh, Evan is a $19 player, according to my projections. Uh, and uh, I'm an $18 player, and he's at 18 So um, I want to catch up real quick. So, because uh, I missed Conforto. Conforto for 25 bucks. So, Steve Gardner. And then uh, Steve Gardner just took Adam Eaton for 19 bucks. All right, so now we're we're on Javi Baez, um, who can be a guy on my team. Baez. I just put twenty-three dollar bid on Baez. I'm as a twenty-four dollar player, and Derek Cardi just outbid me. So that ends that. And now he's at twenty-six dollars. So and that's Lenny spending some money. Oh, I guess uh, Phil must have missed something. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, or Justin Turner, um, who is a player that I like because he's got good OBP. In the shortened season, he's worth a little bit more. Go twenty bucks on him. Mm. Oh, he's already over. He's already over what I'm gonna be willing to bid. Um, I just did bias, right? So yeah, I'm all. Uh, 
uh, have any big question marks. This is NL only. So all those guys are AL guys. But uh, um, uh, so those, a lot of those guys aren't going to be nominated because they're in the American League. They, the American League uh, auction was yesterday. Um, so Justin Turner for 25 bucks. Um, um, he just went above where I was willing to pay, and that was Brian Walton. But he's a, he's a he's a good purchase usually, as long as he stays healthy. Question is, will he stay healthy? All right, we got Will Smith, the pitcher. Um, let me just see where he goes for. Nine dollars right now. It feels like a good price. I just don't know that I want to spend that much on a guy who's not going to get saves. That's a good buy. I had him as a, I think, eleven dollar player. Um. All right. Let's uh, let's soak up some more money. Let's do it with a multi-position eligible guy in Eduardo Escobar, uh, who I have no interest in. Um, okay, so that was nine dollars for Will Smith. And that was to Brian. All right. All right. Uh, Escobar's already at eighteen bucks. Like I said, I'm I'm not in on it. Brian is a fifteen dollar player. He's at nineteen right now. I'm just not a big believer in Escobar. Uh, but people will bid a little extra on the multi position eligible players. Um, uh, he's already twenty three bucks. Wow. Um, because in a mono league. Injuries can sink you, and so having these guys who can cover a lot of different positions really helps. I already had two of those guys, um, but I feel better about my $30 buy on Muncie and a $12 buy on Hampson Escobar for $23. Bucks. $23 bucks to, was that Lenny? All right, so now we got Lorenzo Cain, who I think is should bounce back. Um, uh, all right, he's already gone above where I'm gonna go. He's at eighteen bucks, which is right where I had him. To Brian Walton, I think Brian's making some good buys here, but. I want to be careful about uh, <laughs> overspending on players unless it's someone I feel really deserves to be overspent on. There's one of those players uh, potentially in uh, in Nicholas Castellanos. Um, so I'm I'm gonna go twenty and see what happens. I'm not going to make a decision. He's now he's at 21. Uh, I'm going to go 22. I like Castellanos this year, and I don't have a lot of shares. Um, oh, Steve Gardner just bailed me out. All right. So, all right. Steve Gardner, Castellanos. Kind of take a quick look at money. Um, I have a hundred and thirty dollars or hundred twenty nine dollars left. Nineteen players. Most people are around sixteen to nineteen players. Got more money than most people, except for Cardi. Um, Cardi's got way more money than everybody, uh, and Zinky has more money than me as well. Um, Josh Bell. 
another player I could be in on because the walk rate helps that uh, average wherever it's going to be at. So right now he's at $16 for Josh Bell. Um, Going once. I have him at 24 right now. Going so I think I'm going to get him. Oh, Cockroft. God damn it. Fuck, man. I'm going I'm to go 26 on him. I have him as a $27 player. So if someone wants to. There you go, Cockroft. He's yours. So that fucking sucks. Oh, that hurt. I got Muncie, so I can leave Muncie at first, but I was really looking forward to kind of moving Muncie out of first. Um, you know, uh, that was Cockroft, 27 bucks for Josh Bell. That's right where I had him, and I wasn't going to go over my, uh, my bid on him. All right, Sonny Gray. He's already gone. He's already up to 19 bucks, which is five or six bucks over where I have him. I have, I think I'm at a $13 pitcher. Yeah, $13 pitcher. So went to 19 to Zola. I'm definitely going to be playing kind of in this middle tier in terms of pitching. Well, in terms of everything, but really in terms of pitching. Uh, because right now I only have two pitchers, and that is uh, Paddock and Hater, which I like. I like that start, but now I gotta, I gotta attack the middle part of of pitchers, which is kind of where I want to be, anyways. You know, people are gonna start running out of money. Rossi on Glacius is up for bid. Um, so. I, I am super afraid of Rossi Iglesias. I'll actually probably bid on his handcuffs later. I don't know that he's going to hold that job forever or for very long. Reds want to win. And all it's going to take is a couple blown saves from Iglesias, and, and things are going to get moved away from him. Puig been nominated yet? Puig has not been nominated. And honestly, I don't know if he's in the software because it's ML only. Um, oh, he is in the software. Maybe I'll just throw him out next. Oh, shit. I'm going to put him in my queue um, and kind of see where he goes. I don't think he's going to go to the National League, but you never know. Rossi Iglesias is $13. Uh, to Peter Kreutzer. Um, and now we have uh, Going once. five minutes until break, guys. Brandon Belt. He couldn't pay me a dollar to put Brandon Belt in my roster. Going once. Going and he's 15 once. bucks, right? Jesus. Um, that's Steve Gardner for 15 bucks for Brandon Bell. Couldn't do that. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, no, it wasn't Steve Gardner. That was Phil Hurts. I'm going to have to change that later. Um, David Dahl, another guy he couldn't pay me fucking put on my roster. Injuries, dude. Injuries in NL only. You cannot do that. Uh, the fences came in. It doesn't matter. You can't hit home runs if you've got a concussion. The Giants... 
for Puig, maybe. Maybe. I doubt it. I doubt they're willing to spend that money, especially in a shortened season. Um. Okay, so David Dahl went for $18. Um, and he went to... Joey Votto is already up to fucking 18 bucks. I'm just not going to play that game. Um, Lenny won David Dahl. Okay, that was Derek Cardi for $20 on Votto. Maybe the bat says something about Votto that I don't know, but $20 for a player who's going to hit seven home runs. All right, so now we got Gavin Lux, another player I'm just going to stay out on um, unless the price is really cheap. I love, I love Lux as a player. I just don't know what his playing time situation is going to be like to start the year. Um, it's at eleven dollars, um, twelve dollars. I have him as twelve dollar player, so it's not a bad price. But I'm just staying away from it. Dodgers could send him down. He's already at fourteen bucks, so. Now he's at fifteen bucks. Yeah, just I'm. That's a lot of money to spend on a guy. You have no idea what his situation is going to be like. Um, fifteen bucks to Gray. <sighs> Justin, what kind of music you listen to? Please don't say I listen to everything. I listen to a little bit of everything. Um, nothing really hard. Like I don't like hard rock really, um, uh, or metal or anything like that. Um, we're on Tommy Edmund, uh, another player. I'm just not in on. I just don't know what the situation is going to be. Uh, and he went for two dollars more than my values had him, anyways. Um, to uh, Fred Zinke for fifteen bucks. Um, so it's not a bad price. Um, how often do I put? Just put music on. Uh, only when I'm doing something that I can't really listen to a podcast on, or like I have to have, I can't have earbuds in um, because like I'm watching my kid or something like that, and I can't risk her, you know, getting hurt while I'm doing something. All right, so they're taking a break. They're going to be back at 10:45 Eastern, so that's in 15 minutes, um, which gives me some time to just bullshit. Um, so if you guys have questions now, now is the time. Um, uh, I listen to a lot of country. I'll be honest about that. Um, I grew up listening to country. Uh, name some bands. Uh, oh, I like some like old school grunge type bands. Um, Smashing Pumpkins, one of my favorite. Nirvana, uh, obviously, because who doesn't like Nirvana? Um, uh, Soundgarden. Uh, and then I do listen to a lot of country. I don't listen to, to be quite honest. I mean, I, I have uh, kind of like what is it, like top 40 station type music you know, in the car usually. Um, and so I do like a, a little bit of kind of the more contemporary stuff, but when I throw on YouTube or stuff, it's usually stuff from back when I was a kid, when I listened to a lot of music. So it's a lot of, uh, nineties country, nineties, uh, rap and hip hop. Uh, so I grew up on rap and hip hop growing up in DC. My mom listened to a lot of country music. So it's very nostalgic for me. Are you psyched about James and clay hip hop draft? Who would be your number 1.1? 1. 1? Um, oh, God. Yeah, uh, but they're, like, way more in tune with hip-hop now and back then than I ever have been. 1-1? One, one, I mean, I think Tupac has got to be 1-1. One, one. That, that's just me. Um, I, yeah, I, I, can't, I can't understand not having Tupac as your number one guy. Um, oh, got a bunch of notifications. Want to make sure I'm not missing anything important. Um I assume as long as people aren't DMing me, it's not important. So uh, I'll catch up with a lot of the other stuff after the draft. Then maybe I'll just retweet my uh, my uh, thing, um, this live stream, so people can find it. 
for tau. Oh. Retweet, yo. All right. Um, yeah, uh, I love when they do the drafts. I really liked when they did um, the professional wrestlers' <laughs> uh, moves and stuff and finishing moves and old school because I, I like professional wrestling when I was like 9, 10, 11 years old. Uh, so it's kind of cool to hear like the old guys and stuff like that talk about that. Uh, or not the old guys, but uh, talk about the old guys because Clay and James are – like my age and younger, I assume. Uh, but uh, yeah, so like I said, uh, got about 12 minutes before they're going to restart this auction. So I'm just going to update stuff. Um, got to remember who that player was that I put on. I think Steve Gardner's team that ended up going somewhere else. Who was that? Um, maybe it wasn't Steve Gardner's team. Um, Votto, it wasn't Votto, it was someone for like 20 something bucks. Uh, Brandon Bell, was it Iglesias? Did I put him on Peter's team? I did put him on Peter's team. Uh, can I recap my team watching on small screen? Can't read it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I've got Max Muncy for 30 bucks. I have Garrett Hampson for 12. I've got Lewis Brinson for a buck. Uh, Christian Yelich for 43 bucks. Josh Hader for 23 bucks. And Chris Paddock for 22 bucks. Did I watch the Bauer Sandlot game last night? Um, I, I, I kind of watched it. I was doing a live stream for Matt Williams. And so I kind of had it on mute uh like on part of my screen uh looked like it was fun my wife watched it uh she streamed it inside uh on the big screen she said it was awesome so um what does danielle listen to danielle's uh distance to i mean she listens to some country and some kind of i, I don't she doesn't listen to much contemporary stuff um uh, prince anything prince danielle is uh just a huge prince fan um I bought her tickets to uh, his show for her and a friend and uh, her brother. Um, like, I think it was end up being like a few months before he died. I know you love Prince. Um, uh, she, she loves Prince. Uh, Dave Matthews Band. She loves Dave Matthews Band. Um, Danielle's really fucking cool. I don't know what she's doing with me, but she is pretty fucking cool. Um, so, uh, she used to go to a lot of concerts. We don't as much anymore uh, just because it's hard uh, with the kids and stuff. But every once in a while, um, uh, we, we get out there. So uh, uh, you want to hear how we met? Um, well, we met because my wife used to throw in her 20s. And I think in our 30s too, um, used to throw the largest toga party most people have ever been to. Um, uh, it started off as a birthday party for her, and they, they had such a good time, they made it a yearly event. Um, and I think the second year she threw it, uh, I was new to town, and a buddy of mine who uh, lived in a neighboring town, uh, or him and I used to live in a neighboring town together, um, invited me to go with him because he was friends of a friend of hers. Um, and, uh, and but like, I didn't know anything about it. So I just assumed it's a toga party, um, which means it's like a frat party. Uh, and, uh, you know, because I was, I don't know, 20 years old, didn't know any better. So uh, um, one night I was hanging outside of, or I was waiting in line to get into a bar and this cute chick was in front of me. And, uh, uh, she was, you know, talking to some dude, and as she finished talking, she gave him a hug and said, hey, I'll see you at Toga. So I thought it would be, you know, a good way uh, to kind of pick up on her, which would be and say, hey, you're going to a Toga party? I'm going to a Toga party. Um, and, she was, and, you know, she played it coyly, like like she was all, oh, oh, you are, you are you. 
And I was like, oh, yeah, um, you know, my buddy invited me. I hear it's like a frat house, you know, and my buddy's from this town. Um, you know, it's like 40 minutes, 40 minutes, 45 minutes away. And she started losing it because this is at her house. And she's like, she starts screaming at her brothers who are inside the bar. Like, you fuckers, like, you, you, this guy from over here knows where it is or wh what the, what's the party. There's going to be like 500 people at my house. I hate you fucking guys. And I was like, holy shit. Um, uh, you know, and of course it wasn't that big though. I mean, it ended up being big, super big later on. Um, but that's how we met. We met outside a bar, uh, cause I was trying to pick up on her and she got pissed off that I knew about her party. Um, and then, uh, we were friends for like a good year before, uh, we started dating. Um, and then, uh, then we, uh, you know, started dating, got engaged, got married, uh, had kids and lived happily ever after with her trolling me on Twitter. So that's how I met my wife. So, uh, yeah. So, I should probably update my sheet a little bit more. I think I've been good on updating the pictures. Uh, except for I got to take Bumgarner off there. Um, uh, so. Um, let's see, catchers, I think I've been good on updating that as well. Uh, get first base a little, because Josh Bell and Reese Hoskins and Joey Vaughn are gone. How long were engaged before we got married? Um, let's see, we got engaged November, and then so about a year and a half later, we were married in March. Originally, we were going to do it a year later, but uh, life happens, and uh, so we ended up delaying it a little bit. Um, and, uh, so yeah, we were married in March of 2009. So actually my anniversary is next weekend, um, for our 11 year anniversary. Can't believe she's, uh, tolerated me that long. Seems like a poor decision. So, uh, but you know, I'm not going to question it too much. Uh, let's see, we have, okay, second base I have not been updating at all. Uh, you know, all those guys are gone. Neil's gone, Escobar, Edmund, Lux, and I don't hope your Hanson's gone. All right. What date is the anniversary? The 24th. Oh, shit, the 21st. Holy shit, I'm tired. Um, the 21st of March is our 11-year anniversary. Why did I say 24th? Oh, 24th is what I'm starting my new job. That's why I'm thinking about it. Um, just crossing names off the list. Uh, okay. Uh, March 20th. Nice. Congratulations. Nine years. That's, uh, you know, it's, it's hard to get to, you know, that amount of time. I think then, you know, at some point you go on cruise control. I assume it's all like sobriety where, you know, there's a lot of struggles early on figuring how things are going to work. And then um, eventually you kind of go on cruise control of things. Uh, Tommy Edmonds gone. March 24th, 18 years. Congratulations, gut. That's awesome. Um, or uh, Schwarber uh, still around. Cassianos, Eaton, McNeil, Lorenzo King, David Dahl. There's still a lot of players around. 18 years in and not married. That is, uh, hey, you know what? Marriage isn't for everyone. And I, mean, I don't. You know, as long as you've got your affairs in order, so that way, looks like I'm coming back in about four minutes, guys. Um, uh, but uh, marriage isn't for everybody. As long as you got your affairs in order, so that way, if something happens to you or your, or your spouse, you make sure you guys are taken care of. Which is something my mother-in-law did not do, um, well, or tried to do, but didn't do right. Uh, you know, that's totally cool. I know you're trying to draft, but I really want to just ask. You can ask me personal questions. That's stuff I don't have to think about necessarily. So, like, as long as you're not asking me questions where I got to do math, 
in my head while I'm trying to do the draft, I can answer them. And like I said, we got like three minutes left before the auction starts back up again. All my shit's updated except for I can't figure out. I know I put someone on the wrong team. I thought it was Steve Gardner's team, but um Oh, you know what? I think it was Steve Gardner's team. Was it Brandon Belt? Um uh, Yeah, it was Brandon Belt. Uh oh no, 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 no. Um yeah, it was Brandon Bell. Okay, so Brandon Bell shouldn't be on Steve Gardner's team. Should be on Phil Hertz's team. Aha! Figured it out. Everybody go wash your hands. Um, four times seven. I don't know what that means, guys. But Oh, <laughs> you're asking me a math question. I get it. See, I said don't ask me a math question. Let's see the money situation. Um, what stupid shit do you guys argue about most? Uh, I don't touch the temperature um, gauge, so I don't have to worry about that one. Um, it's usually about responsibility stuff, um, and it's usually about, you know, I got a podcast or an article, right, and I need to go do it, and she wants me to do something around the house, um, and uh, that starts an argument, you know, Hopefully, the moving to the new job will alleviate some things in terms of we get to spend the night uh, together every night. Um, and, you know, I'm sure it's going to cause other issues because I'm still in school. So I have to, like, you know, now really portion out time for a lot of different things, including schoolwork. Uh, that's usually what it's about. Or it's parenting stuff, you know. I mean, uh as much as you try to be on the same page, uh, you know, we're not always on the same page and I can be a lot more strict. Um, and sometimes I can be borderline mean. Uh, and so my wife has to check me. Uh, my wife does a lot of checking me. It's what I love most about her is that, uh, she keeps me in line and, you know, when we're parenting in our marriage, uh, but also, uh, like online and stuff. What happened to your survivor application? I never turned it in. I, uh, um, something came up today uh, that they were doing the live interviews. Who's this year's Yelich? No one's this year's Yelich. Um, and anybody, you know, I don't want to say that, actually. Because <laughs> I know Vlad did an article on this year's Yelich. I haven't read it. It's behind a paywall. Um, uh, so, uh, um, but, like, the idea that someone could be this year's Yelich seems crazy to me. I mean, obviously there's someone who could be, but trying to predict it is such a crapshoot. You know, Vlad's a smart guy, and when he predicted Yelich, like, don't get me wrong, like, like props to him because he was right and I was wrong. But there's some luck involved in that too because no one saw I've read. The answer will shock me. Well, don't give it away. You can, Yancey, you can text me what the answer is so I can uh, I can know but don't don't give away make people go pay for it <laughs> um it right, looks like they're getting ready to start back up um is David Fletcher trending is that why <laughs> uh, uh all right we're back up we're ready make Justin pay for it uh, I can just text Vlad and be like, hey, send me your article. So uh, I don't have to pay for it, but um, I probably should. Guru Elite, as much as they've got some uh, douchebag personalities that work there, I'm not saying they're douchebags as people, but they are they put on this personality that can be kind of have some douchebaggery to it. Um, uh, they're really... Good, a lot of good people work there. A lot of really smart, good people work there. Um, and so it's probably worth the money. All right, so we're starting back up again. Julio Urias is been thrown up there. Um, I well, it was already gone for 11 bucks, which is more than I had him for. So, so that could be a really good price. Uh, 13 bucks right now. So, uh, 
sold to Brian Walton for 13 bucks. Ooh, time to throw out Puig, guys. Let's see what he goes for. So you can bid on Puig and buy him, but if he doesn't go to the National League, you'll lose him. So um, I'm going to go four bucks. But that's all I'm going. Someone wants to go more than four bucks. Um, then they can have them. And Kreutzer just did. Four bucks on the shot. I'll, I'll take that. But I'm just... Five bucks isn't a bad price either for Kreutzer. Um, I don't know why my thing keeps switching to... Um, switching off... Uh, my, from, from available players. All right, so Urias went for 13 bucks. Um, uh, to Brian Walton. Okay, so now we've got Corey Seager, which you guys know I won't be in on. Uh, and Puig went for five bucks. I don't know if Puig's even in this system because of this. I don't think he is, so I guess I'm just going to have to leave it. Uh, so, Seager's already at $21. I just, I can't even. Um, I don't even know what my my projections had him at, but it's definitely not $21. Um, and that was Brian Walton. Schedule a new job. Um, well, the start is going to be like 8 to 5, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, and then shorter on Tuesday, Thursdays uh, because I've got school. But once school is over, it'll be 11 uh, a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. So I've got to figure out how that's going to work with recording with Paul because we tend to record in the mornings. So recording might be a little kind of uh, spotty here and there on uh, until May when I graduate. Uh Denelson Lamette, another guy I won't be on. Um, going once. Uh, oh, 13 bucks isn't a bad price necessarily. I just don't want to spend it <sighs> on him. Um, 13 bucks to Gray Albright. Um, uh, so, yeah, we'll figure out the recording stuff. I actually got to sit down with Paul this week and figure out how we're going to do it when I go back to work. Though That's if my new job lets me start with everything that's going on. So, we'll see. Uh, Gray got him for 13 bucks. All right, so now we got Zach Gallon. Me like you, Zach Gallon. Um, but he's already Going over once. over what I want to spend. Going once. And I don't think he's done necessarily. 13 bucks isn't bad though on Gallon. Going once. Now he's up to 15. Yeah, I'm just not going to spend that on Gallon. I got a shares of Gallon already. You've been policing people that have been giving out uh, Vlad's article info mercilessly. Yeah, people shouldn't give away shit that's behind a paywall. Buy a paywall for a reason. If you want to pay for it. But um, there's a lot of free information out there. If you want free information, you can get it. I just, yeah, I don't like, you know, people are like, well, what, you know, why can't I get everything for free? Because some of us are trying to make a living doing this. I mean, I'm not making a living doing it, but, um, you know, we've got bills to pay. Uh, okay, so Zach Gallon went for 15 bucks to Fred Zanke. Do not mind that at all. Going once. All right, now we're on Robbie Ray. Going once. And... Going twice. He's just all the pitching is going to be way above where I'm willing to go at this moment. So, Robbie, Robbie Ray at thirteen bucks, at fourteen bucks now. Morning, Chris. Fourteen dollars to Scott Wilderman. All right. Uh, once prices are starting to come down a little bit, but 
not in much in the pitching where I need it to be. How's the team looking? Team's looking good. So I got Max Muncy for 30 bucks, Garrett Hampson for 12, uh, Lewis Brinson for one, uh, Yelich for 43, Hader for 23, and Paddock for 22. And I've got a fair amount of money left. Only Derek Cardi has more money than me. Derek Cardi has a lot of money left. Um, we're at Carlos Martinez. He's at 11 bucks. I'm going to go 12. I like Carlos Martinez a lot. So, I think that's a good price. Oh, God damn it, Zola. Uh, I'm not going 14. I'm not going 14 on Carlos Martinez. Too much injury history. God damn it. He just yelled at Zola in the little chat. Brinson for a dollar is key. Um, I agree. Uh, um, they have Carlos Martinez as, okay. 13 bucks to Zola. Who we at? We're at Kyle Schwarber. Oh, uh, Schwarber just went for, oh no. Okay, so. Uh, I'm gonna go 21 on on Schwarber. I'm not a huge Schwarber guy, but I have him as a $23 player. So 21 bucks. I'm up oh, there. And then he goes for 22. Okay. Uh, Zola got Carlos Martinez for 13 bucks. Uh, there we go. Prices are now starting up. 23 bucks. Okay. Uh, not sure if he's starting. No, he's he's definitely a starter. They're definitely starting him. They have to, especially with the injuries to uh, Miklas. Um, he could end up as a reliever later on, but he's he's going to be a starter for the beginning of the season. So it's just a matter of key. He can stay healthy. You cashed you in on that one last year. Uh, uh, I, we don't do sleeper in the bus leagues. We just don't. Do, we have so many leagues, you know, and some of our leagues are open to the public being on FPC, so you can play against us there. Um, uh Anyone miss Brian Feldman? Yeah, I miss Brian. Uh, all right, Gene Segura. Segura. Yeah, he's over what I want to spend. Segura is currently at $15. Now, $17. Wow, some people really like Segura this year. How is this league even being scored? It's um, it's 5x5 five five Roto. Except for with on base percentage instead of average. Wow, Segura's at 19 bucks. What meal do you have with a family you eat most often? Um, probably pasta. My wife makes some pretty awesome homemade pasta sauce. Um, okay, so who got Steve Gardner just took Segura for $19. I, that's just way too much, I think. But Steve Gardner's won this league, and I haven't, so what the fuck do I know? Uh, McCutcheon. McCutcheon, here's a guy I could be in on. Um, see, injury scare anybody away? Doesn't seem like it. He's already at 14 bucks. Now he's up 16 bucks. Cardi and me going back and forth. Um, I'll go one more. He's yours if you want him for 19 there, Cardi. I got a, I got McCutcheon at 18. Um, but it seems like I'm going to get him. Yep, got McCutcheon for 18 bucks. I'll take that. And I have not gotten a lot of shares, you know, with the with this delay to start season, he should be ready to go. So... Zimmerman loves Segura this year, and I don't get it. I, I don't get it either. Are they going to let him run? They didn't let him run much last year. Yeah, this 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 hiatus um, uh, is going to help injured players a lot. It's a year too fucking late when I drafted all the injured players last year in the main event. You know. I'm always a year early on shit. Who knew I'd be a year early on a pandemic? Oh, Gallegos. Right now, Giovanni Gallegos is going for 12 bucks. 
uh, or 11 bucks seems like a good price, uh, but I'm not gonna do it. I just don't know how long he's closing for. All right, Paul DeYoung, here we go. Get that bidding finger ready. Paul DeYoung, Paul DeYoung. Um, he's at 19 bucks. I'm, he's, that's my limit. Wow. I didn't think everybody would be in on Paul DeYoung after how he kind of faded. But, all right. Well, that's good to know. Secure gains a lot of value in NL only because you'll be eligible at second, third, and short. Is he eligible at second, third, and short? I did not realize that. Um, but, uh, I mean, there's a lot of guys who are multi-eligible in this league because it's only 15 games played. So, John, most strongly uh, associated with Justin. Not on my team this year, not on my team last year. Oh, wait, no, he was on my team last year. But I come super cheap last year. Paul DeYoung goes to Lenny Melnick for 20 bucks. Adam is a $19 player, so uh, he wasn't willing to do it. All right, so now we're on to Nick Senzel. I already have an injured outfielder, so probably going to sit this one out and see what the price is, though. $13. Oh, he's got $12. That's not a bad buy for him. I just don't – that Reds outfield seems tricky to me. Senzel is not the guy that I think is going to win a lot of stuff. All right. Uh, I'm going to throw out – I thought David at all already got bid on. Um, okay. That seems weird. I'm going to throw out J.D. Davis. See what happens there. The uh, – the, uh, okay. So Senzel went for $12. Zone for twelve dollars to Brian Wong. Derek, we got uh, JD Davis is already up to fifteen dollars. It looks like Derek Hardy's going to get him at fifteen. How many players do I have now? Um, I have uh, nine players. G.D. Davis went for $16 to Cockroft. Tristan Cockroft. Good, strong player there. <laughs> Cardi just said uh, he dislikes Tristan immensely. Didi Gregorius. David Dahl is still on the screen, and I'm pretty sure David Dahl already went, right? We, we had this discussion. I don't understand why he would still be there. Uh, Gregorius is at $13. It's not a bad price, but not what on I want to spend. Now he's at $14. I have Gregorius as a $14 player, and now he's at $15. So... Yeah, Kino's going to be odd man out in that Reds outfield, and they'll still be. But, I mean, there's guys who get injured in that Reds outfield, too. So, I mean, Winker, how how, how long do we expect um, Winker to, like, stay healthy? Like, never. Like, it's just not going to happen. So, all right, Scott Wilderman bought D.D. Gregorius at $16. A couple bucks over what I was willing to go. Carson Kelly, there we go. I can I can get in on Carson Kelly. I'll go ten bucks. Mm, Eleven bucks. No, I'm not gonna go twelve on him. So I'm okay with that. And he's at twelve now. So. 
Carson Kelly going too much above what I have. Or actually, I had him at 12 bucks. No, I had him 13 or 12. Um, who got him? Brian Walton. Of course, because he's a former Cardinal. Um, Brian Walton. All right. Uh, all right. Joe Musgrove. All right. Let's see this money fly, people. And he's everybody's sleeper. Sleeper. So, like, I mean, I mean, everybody's going to bid on him right here. I got him at 13 bucks right now. I don't think I'm going to go much higher than that. But if. Oh, did I just get him at 13 bucks? Holy shit. I did not think I would get him at 13 bucks. Okay. I'm cool with that. I had him as a fourteen dollar pitcher. Um, well, so that means I'm now at sixty eight dollars in pitching. It means I can't spend a ton more, but I don't think I have to. Um, draw Dyson. So this is why I'll pay for the speed early because I, I don't want to draw dice. I mean, draw dice was on my team last year, but I got him for like two bucks. Now he's going for like ten. Um, uh, I guess yeah, that's that's not that's not how I want to play this in an only league. You can't even find draw dice on the draft software. It means I've already passed him. Draw Dyson for ten bucks. Wow. Oh, yeah. I just saw the name I'm gonna throw out next. Um, so, uh, right, draw Dyson for ten bucks to Scott Wilderman. Yeah, but this drag. I don't know what that means. Okay. What is my budget? $260, $260 for 23 players. Uh, pitching usually do about 80 to 90. Kyle Hendricks just got thrown out. Um, I got so many shares of Musgrove this year. I really need him to hit. Um, or pitch. Um, twelve bucks on Kyle Hendricks. Oh, thirteen bucks. Okay, I got him as a thirteen dollar player. I was about to just go max on him, but Cardi, Cardi at fourteen bucks. There you go, Cardi. Now you got a player. Cardi needs to spend some money. Cardi's gonna rue this middle, or he's gonna crush this middle game. Um, so he's just got too much money left. He's the only, oh no, two people over a hundred bucks. But he's got one hundred and twenty-seven bucks. Um, Ryan McMahon, I love me some Ryan McMahon. Um, but I got a feeling with the way multi-position eligible guys have been going, it's gonna be way more than I'm going to be willing to spend. And I already got two multi-eligible guys. So do I need a third? He's at 15 bucks. I had him as a $13 player. Now he's at a 16 bucks. Now he's at 17 bucks. I like McMahon a lot, but I'm just not spending that kind of money on him. 17 bucks to... Uh, uh, that was Tristan, Tristan Cockroft. All right, Max Freed, my top rated pitcher left. Um, but he's going to go above what I'm willing to spend. You know, 13 bucks was my bid on Max Freed. Going twice. Going twice. 
He was at 15. That's not a bad price. I probably should have had him for a little bit more, actually. Um, um, okay, so I want to outfield. I'm going to put somebody in my queue. Brian Anderson. Oh, did I put Max Freed on? Max Freed went for 15 bucks to Brian. Brian Anderson is a guy that I'm not a big fan of. Going for, I'm sorry, 14. I'm not a big fan of Anderson. I don't think he's that underrated. I don't think that he's... OBP he gets a little bump here. But it's just not that much pop. Do I think I don't think he can hit 30 home runs? Um the third base outfield is nice. Um he just went for 15 bucks. That's actually not a bad price. I don't I don't mind that at all. It's Derek. Derek Derek's a smart player. So much shit as Derek gets. And there's a reason why he gets shit because he's such a good player. Daniel Murphy. Um yeah, no. You're not getting you don't get Daniel Murphy for three bucks. That's I don't even like Daniel Murphy that much, but like I've got him as like a thirteen dollar player. Eh, now he's going for thirteen bucks. All right. Um yes, I'm using the Rotowire draft software just to track the draft. Um I'm not using their projections. Um I have uh, uh, modified ATC projections. Um, so I took the ATC projections and I put my own little spin on it. Uh, but that's the baseline that I use because Ariel is so fucking good at what he does. Um, uh, but I, I do use draft software to, uh, to kind of keep track of categorical imbalance. Daniel Murphy went for 12 bucks. Okay, now we got Mustakis up, and Mustakis is definitely a guy that I'd be interested in. So I put sixteen dollars on him. I'm gonna double check my price on him. Oh, he's already jumped to twenty. Oh, oh God, here I would put twenty-one, and someone immediately went twenty-two. Okay, so Kreitzer. That's a, I like that buy. That's it's a it's. I had him at twenty one bucks. He went for twenty two. I, I like that buy a lot, but I'm sticking to my values to the best of my ability. So twenty two bucks to Kreutzer. Um, who we got bidding now? David Peralta. Peralta is an interesting guy. I think he's gonna bounce back. I just don't know how much. Uh, ten bucks. Do I want to fill up my outfield already? I don't think I do. Eleven bucks, twelve bucks. Okay, people are bidding them up. Votto went for twenty. It's OBP, so that's the reason Votto went for twenty. Musaka is last spot. Oh, okay, so we're David Peralta. Peralta at 13 bucks. That's not a bad buy at all. That's a great Albright. Ooh, I'm on the clock to nominate. Uh, and um, I'm going to nominate Dylan Carlson because uh, people are going to pounce on him, I think. Uh I'll go three dollars on Dylan Carlson. I really thought people would pounce more. Yeah, Carlson four. I really thought Carlson would be more expensive than he is. Eight bucks. Okay, eight bucks is getting better. Um, I have him as an eight dollar player. That's. I thought he would soak up more money than that. But Brian Walton's running out of money. He hit the baseball hard lineup will be improved around him moving the fences. They're moving the fences in. 
Yeah, no, I, I I get what you're saying there, Chris, but there's th them adding all those players doesn't necessarily give him the clearest path. And, you know, injuries are a thing that, you know, well, don't get me wrong, we can start to, you know, add, you know, if we can add more games, we can obviously add more stats, but we don't know that he can stay healthy either. So, like, that's not, you know, uh, I just don't think he's that special of a player that I necessarily don't know. And NL only, he's a little bit more valuable because multi-positional eligible, um, and he should bank some stats. So he's a definitely a good floor guy or a good floor guy. Um, okay, so I need to uh, – Carlson. This one for $8. To I think Peter Kreutzer. Uh Now we got Mike Fulton Evans. Uh, Carlson went to Peter Kreutzer. Go in with Fulton. Go in with Fulton. <sighs> Fulton Evans. Only nine dollars. Eleven dollars from Fulton. I don't know that. Twelve dollars. Not see. Now we're starting to get into where I paid for Musgrove, and I'd much rather have Musgrove than Fulton Evans. Especially in NL only, where if something goes wrong again with Fulton, you're fucked. Uh, all right, Peter Kreutzer, Fulton Evans for twelve dollars. Um, oh, that's sorted by outfielders. I want to sort by all. Ooh, Brian Reynolds. Spoiler alert, I likely will be in on Brian Reynolds. If I can find him. I must bid more. I must bid more. I must bid more. All right, 16, I think, is all I'm going to go. Go in twice. Go in twice. But I have a $19 player. Oh, what a rocker. Go in twice. Mm. Fuck it. I'm going 18. I'm going 18. Go in oh, Phil, you can have him. That hurt. Oh, that hurt. That hurt. Oh. I accidentally put David Peralta on my team in the draft software. I need to move him on the Gray's team. John Birdie! He's eligible everywhere. John Birdie, Mr. Birdie. I bid nine dollars on Mr. Birdie. Nine dollars on Mr. Birdie. Eleven dollars on Mr. Birdie. And if you want him, you'll have to go twelve. You can have him, Todd. Going twelve. <sighs> oh, I don't sh oh no, I can move him to shorts up. I don't have a lot of infielders. I'm going to have to buy some infielders here soon. Mr. Birdie is gone. Oh, I got a shortstop. Okay, who we got gone? Ahmed Rosario. Let's take Look at Rosario's price. Nineteen dollars. That's a little bit more than I'm, or a lot more. I'm willing to spend on Brooke and Ahmad Rosario. So Birdie went for twelve. Is a lot. 
The Mud Rosario at 22 bucks. What the fuck is going on? I like the Mud Rosario, but 22 bucks just wow. You guys don't have that much money. I mean, yeah, that's in OBP. Like, oh, ah, why? It's the speed. People are freaking out about speed now. Um, that is redonk. That is, yeah, that is not okay. Um, all right, Scott Kingery. There's a player I can be on. Again, multi-position eligible. All right, I bid 13, but he's already gone past that, and... I think I had him at a fourteen dollar player. Now he's up to eighteen. So, yeah, fourteen dollar player. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna. He's gonna, he's gonna go for twenty. Holy shit! Like people understand, like there's only you only have a limited amount of money, right? Twenty one bucks. Wow. Twenty two bucks. What the hell? I like Scott Kerngren, but 23 bucks, especially this late in the auction when people are starting to really run low on money, is... Lenny Melnick's max bid is 2 bucks now. Like that's... It's way too early auction to have be filling your team with that, that many $1 players. Um, wow, I'm just... I'm really surprised by that. Um... I guess Letty wanted to take a break or something. Uh, Akiyama. Akiyama I like. So I got $12 in Akiyama. It's right around where I have my bids on him. All right. Now I got $14 on him, which is probably my limit. I really want to be careful with what I spend right now because people are spending so much, but... Akiyama, like, I'll take that. Leading off for the Reds, that's my fourth outfielder. Outfields are filled up. Yeah, he should get on base. They do have a lot of outfielders, but I don't think that they paid him to sit. Um, so I paid right at market price or what I think is market price for him. Uh, Yadier Molina up. Molina I have, is an $8 player. He's going for 9 bucks right now. Um, oh, I don't have Daniel. God damn it. Daniel Murphy is not on my team. Uh, who did Daniel Murphy... Who did Murphy go to? Daniel Murphy went to Steve Gardner. Okay. Eric Thames. Thames, Thames, Thames. Thames could be a guy I go for. If he doesn't go for too much, he's already at 10 bucks. Not feeling great about that. Going once. Go 11. Because so I knew Cardi would go 12. Now, now I got to really think about it. Going twice. Oh, I have him as a $13 player. And he said 12. I'm not going 13. Okay. And you catch up. Yadier Molina went to somebody, Fredzinki, for 10 bucks. Like 
And then Eric Thames went to Cardi at 12 bucks. And now we're doing Aquino. We're definitely not bidding on. Do you like you're gonna end up with one of or a Darno or flowers? Um, yeah, I'm gonna probably end up with flowers. It won't be Darno. I may actually throw out Darno because I don't want them. Um, okay, so that was a Kino. For $3. It's not a bad buy. No, no, only. If he actually does get playing time. Oh, Luke Weaver. I'll go $7 on Luke Weaver. Yeah, Weaver is now up to I. So, I got about twenty-two dollars left to spend on pitching for six spots. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, I still need to find a Kino. Is it in oh there it is. Kino for Kino went for four bucks to Steve Gardner. Okay, and then Luke Weaver went to Scott Wilder and Walderman. Uh, where's Weaver? Weaver went for nine bucks. Who are we bidding on? India and Sarge. Another guy's uh, not going very much. I'm surprised by that. Um, and Scott. I got a nominate player. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see how people feel about Marcus Stroman. Okay, so I need to go outfielders. Oh, no, it's we No, we very did. No outfielders, so I need to find NCRT. CR team with for six bucks to Pritzker, I think. Uh, Stroman just went for eleven dollars. Um, just I don't want Stroman, so I'd soak up a little bit of money. Who took him? Great. Mitch Keller, here we go. Seven dollars. Seven dollars on Keller. Oh, there goes eight dollars on Keller. I just don't have the pitching money to spend. Right now, yeah, I have oh, I have fifty. I have thirty-two dollars to spend on pitching. One of the first leagues I haven't gotten Keller in, and it's of course it's Steve Gardner who just is the bane of my existence in every every league I draft. Christian Walker. Can't find Keller. There he is. Keller. Christian. People going crazy on Christian Walker right now. Um, well, it's 15 bucks. Not crazy. Um, Keller went. Oh. Keller went for eight. Wow. 
Wow, twenty one dollars on Christian Walker. Six dollars more than I am, or five dollars more than I am. Now he's now he's six dollars more. Fred Zinke, going twenty two bucks on Christian Walker. Let's see, twenty two bucks. Zinke, not a bad price necessarily. Uh, I have way. Oh no, Hardy still has more money than me. Garrett Richard, my boy. Garrett Richards. Ugh. Seven dollars. I can't do eight dollars on here, Richards. I like Richards, but that arm can fall off, and that's a problem with no replacement value. It'd be good while he pitches. So, and hopefully, you know, when his arm falls off, you just drop him, but I prefer not to do that in uh, NL only as much. All right, so we got Will Myers. Um, oh, could be a guy I'm in on. Oh, I guess I can go eight on Myers. Derek's now trying to spend that money. All right, I'll go ten bucks on Myers. Oh, that feels gross. I shouldn't have done that. Well, I got Will Myers. It fills my UT spot, but we have that swing position. It's still $2 under my price on him. Uh, fortunately, not multi-positional eligible anymore. <laughs> well, Myers and Liz Princeton seems unfair. <laughs> uh, Colton Wong, another guy I'll be in on. Um, I want to find my price points on him. Uh, oh, never mind. I won't be in on him because he's just gone two dollars over my price point. He's at fifteen dollars now. Now sixteen dollars. All right, um, Zola, or no, no, uh, Steve Gardner, Colton Wong for sixteen dollars. Yeah, I love I love Colton Wong this year, but I just wasn't Ryan Braun. I'm just I'm not gonna fill my swing spot this early unless I feel like it's a really good bargain so Braun is kind of a nice bargain right here oh wow that's a really good buy for Cardi $11 for uh, for Ryan Braun just it's that's two dollars under <laughs> They're making fun of me in the chat. Um, Derek Cardi. Uh, Trent Grisham now. <laughs> Todd said, uh, just figures if they don't play, can't get injured. Lil Myers is going to play. They moved Manny. Yeah, Trent Grisham at fifteen bucks. I like Trent Grisham, but I'll take ten dollar Will Myers or fifteen dollar Trent Grisham. Okay, 
for fifteen. Bring it over at fifteen dollars. Um, I'm going to need to buy some infielders at some point. And now we got Dansby Swanson. Y'all know I ain't going to be on Swanson. It's going to leave me with some shortstop problems because shortstop's running out. And we got Swanson, $14 player, though, in NL only for me. But he's at 17 right now. So, yeah, no. Oh, God, it is so cold in my office. I'm just, just starting to really feel it now. $17 to Fred Zinke for Dansby. $17. Now people who have money are trying to spend it. Still plenty of players. Sean Doolittle. See if anybody starts overreact on saves a little bit here. I've got Hater. That's all I need for right now. I mean, I'm going to add probably another relief pitcher or two. Definitely two, actually. Um, but I just don't need it right now. $10. $10 are not a bad price if, if Doolittle's closing. I just don't know that he's going to be the closer. At least Cardi's starting to spend a little money. Cardi still got eighty or seventy-nine bucks. I got seventy-four. Eric Hosmer, Hosmer, Hosmer. Uh, let's see. Going once. Hosmer. Hosmer. I got him as a $13 player, and he's going for 13 bucks right now. I want to get value, and now he's going for $14. See, Cardi's going to spend his money now. Now I'm going to have the most money. But I will fix that. Yeah. More than I'm willing to spend. Right. Who are we on? Oh, Pomeranz. Oh, that's okay. Pomeranz is not for me. Not for me. Pomeranz for three bucks, though, is a really good price. I, I know I'm on the clock. I heard you the first time. Um, let's throw out Caleb Smith, see who's buying back in on that. How much budget do you want to go? How much budget uh, do you want to go this season in with? Um... Okay, so you don't get to use this budget, this money for the auction in season. You, you don't spend it, you don't get it. Everybody, um, so you, you don't want to leave any money on the table. Yeah, Eric Cosper's launch angle is incredible, and people are like, "Oh, he, he's buying into the launch angle revolution." Well, yeah, yeah, it's not gonna. Andres Munoz for two dollars. Um, that could be a buy, for sure. I like Munoz. Caleb Smith just went to, for, to Cockroft for six bucks. Um, I really thought he'd go for more than that. Uh, but that's not a bad buy. I mean, if you're into Caleb Smith, I'm not. Uh, Herman Marquez. Cardi bid on Marquez. What the hell? Don't want to play the game on Marquez, but this is a good price. Got him as a $9 player, and now he's going for $9. Okay. Well, now I don't feel bad. Going once. Going twice. Going twice. Going 
Luke Weaver, Pomeranz is gone. Pitching is starting to get ugly, but that's why I have a lot of targets for later. I'm going to love owning him. <laughs> uh, it's a Steve Gardner got Marquez for nine bucks. Uh, 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 uh. Kevin Newman, he's a guy I've liked. Uh, you gotta find a group though. Uh, uh, uh. Well, it went 10 and then Cardi went 12, or Cardi went 11. 12's where I have him, but I, I want discounts now. And now Brian is jumped in on it and now he's 12 bucks, so now definitely not a discount. I have too much money left, too much money left. Um, besides Canadian curling, Mexican soccer is the only sport in the in the country. That's my excuse. This is curling. I love curling. Curling's fun. Don't do it on Marquez headache. Yeah, I don't know. I can't see your team also. Okay. Um, hold on. Let me let me update. $14 for Newman, and then I'll, I'll go through my team real quick. Um Looking dollars for Newman, Newman, Newman to Cockroft, right? That's my player. Okay, so now Quan Young uh, Kim is being nominated uh, by Cockroft. Um, all right, so my team is Max Muncy for thirty dollars, Garrett Hampson for twelve, Brinson for a dollar, Yelich for forty three dollars, McCutcheon for eighteen dollars, Akiyama for fourteen dollars, Will Myers for ten dollars. Josh Hader for $23, Paddock for $22, and Joe Musgrove for $13. A couple overpays, but a couple real nice discounts, too. So, uh, that, so now we got Kim. Um, question is, will he be starting? I assume he will. Um, oh, oh, I found him. So Kim went for seven dollars to Phil Hertz. All right, Abacel Garcia. He's another player that I'll look at, but I already have my outfield full because we only do four outfielders. Um, uh, and there's other guys I like too, so. He's at seven dollars. It's eight dollars. Um, Senzel's gone. Davis gone. Belt gone. He's at eleven dollars. That's a really nice price. Um, oh, Croats are just sniping. A lot of outfielders left. So I don't want to get involved in outfield unless it's someone I really feel I'm getting a really nice discount in. Kim looked filthy in spring. He died. He did. He, yeah, he did, or did, I guess. Um, uh, I really need infielders right now. That's where I'm, and I'm hoping to get some discounts, but I may not. I may not have. This may be a poor roster construction. But I like my team so far. We'll see how see how I fill it out here in a little bit. I've got the most money, so um, and I think that's it's, you know I've got ten dollars more. Oh no no, Zola's got seventy seventy one dollars. So Garcia went to Zinke for thirteen dollars. Uh, Garcia went to Zinke, the thing. Um, Zinke, there is Zinke. Evan Longoria. 
I don't think I want one, Gorion. Oh, let me check my bids. I'll go five on him. I got five on him. He's already gone to nine, which means I'm out. <laughs> He's at 12. I had Longoria as a $10 player, and he's at 12. So, But third base is starting to dry up. Thankfully, I have, uh, I have Muncie, and I can move Muncie to third if I need to. And I also have Garrett Hansen, who I can move to second or outfield. Not that I need an outfielder. All right, so Longoria went $12 to Phil Hertz. Going once. Going twice. Going uh, Nimmo's at ten bucks. Going twice. A little bit more than I'm willing to spend right now. Going once. He's at eleven bucks now. Going twice. I'm just right now. I don't want to fill up my swing spot. Um. Nimmo, Nimmo, Nimmo went to Darts for 11 bucks. I like that buy. All right. Tucker Barnhart, catcher time. People buying cheap catchers. Not me. Not for Tucker Barnhart. You know, likey Tucker Barnhart. Not a bad price, though. It's five bucks right now. Tucker Barnhart. Tucker Barnhart. All right, Brian Walton. Five dollars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. I already put in Tucker Barnard. Buster Posey. Posey's a guy I could be interested in. Especially if he goes for these kind of prices. Oh. Except for Cardi just jumped me to eight bucks and I had him in his nine dollar player. So there goes that. And now he's a 10. Well, screw you guys. Buster Posey. Buster Posey. Mackenzie Gore. Mm. Going once. I got Mackenzie Gore at five Going bucks. Twice. If I get him, I'm gonna be stoked. Boom! Fucking Mackenzie Gore. God, love that. Whew. That, that, that felt good. That felt good. That's my first, like, yell out, I'm super happy buy of the year. So that is, that could definitely be one of those buys that, uh, that I'm really happy about or really angry about later on. And I can't find them in the draft software, so. For now, I'm going to abandon draft software, so, or at least for a little while. Jock Peterson. Jock Peterson. Going twice. Going once. Going twice. It's Sixteen bucks. Adam is a fifteen dollar player. Going Boo. Going now he's at seventeen bucks. Kind of want a jock. 
I like Jock. Got lots of shares of Jock, but not one to pay that price. Seventeen dollars to Tristan Cockcroft. All right, Corey Knebel. There's your one dollar closer, Lenny. Except for he ain't gonna be closing, yo. Oh, I should just take Knebel, um, but I don't. I don't know that he's gonna be. Uh, I don't. He's not gonna close when he comes back. Like I don't. All right, you can have him. You can have my handcuffs there, Lenny. Not a closer. Um, okay. Uh, da, da, da. Let's throw Dakota Hudson out there for a buck because I don't want Dakota Hudson. But someone will take him for two. At least I think they will. If I get good Dakota Hudson. Oh, thank God. Thank you. Thank you, Scott. <laughs> We're getting to that point where you really shouldn't throw out people that you don't want. Um, Uh, but it worked out. It's already up to four bucks. Brian Walton, shocker, took a cardinal. All right, people are really starting to run out of money here. Todd Zola and me have, I think, the same amount. Uh, or no, Todd Zola has one, uh, two more dollars than me. I have sixty nine dollars left. Nice. Um, but people are really starting to run out of money, so we're going to start being able to kind of push them around a little bit. Uh, how much money does Cardi have? GP Green thinks Milwaukee would try coming in and when he's healthy. The problem with Knable is his issues with control and command, uh, and that's like the last thing that comes back after Tommy John. Like, And I don't think he's going to be back till midsummer anyways. Though, I mean, shortened season, I could mean something but yeah I, I i'm not i'm i'm not i don't think they're gonna go to canadian well they could and then i'm screwed but if they do if they do gregory polanco for 10 bucks to cardin okay somehow i still have uh who was that polanco um, so many outfielders left. Now we're on Matt Carpenter. Uh, Carpenter, I've got as a I have him as a fifteen dollar player. That feels high though. I'll go to thirteen. There we go. Matt Carpenter out of my team. It is on base percentage. And I need to I need to fill that spot for sure. Michael Lorenzen, here's a guy that close. Um, I'll go two bucks on Lorenzen. Oh, crap. Zola just said his infield's going to be crappier than Baltimore Orioles, and him and I both have the most amount of money left. Both of our infields. Hey, I just got Michael Lorenzen for two bucks. That means. Wow. I'm I'm okay with that. I think he could uh I think he could end up being closer. We'll see. I got four spots left. I got about thirty dollars to spend on pitching here. I'm just gonna move it over to hitting. So I feel pretty good about that. I'm gonna kinda get the pitchers I want. Jerks and Profire. Um ATC is higher on profile than I am. I don't think I'm gonna be oh two bucks, four bucks. Five bucks. No, nope. I'm going to mute myself so I can cough. Didn't think you guys needed to hear that. 
All right, he's up to nine bucks. That's now ten bucks. Yeah, I just can't do pro far that much. Um, let's see. I got Lorenz, and I gotta add him to my roster. Mark Melanson, another closer. Go eight dollars on Melanson, not a penny more. He just called me the lady up front. Um, right now I'm not seeing where Melanson is in my thing. Oh, there he is. Eight bucks on Melanson. Then I got two guys that are closers to start the season. And maybe not be closing mid here if Hater and Melanson lose their jobs, so. Now we got Yastrzemski. So now my pitching staff is starting to come together. I got twenty, about twenty-two bucks left for my pitching staff, um, and I have three spots left. So spending that money, um, I got three closers. Well, two closers and Hader and Melanson, and then Paddock, Musgrove, Mackenzie Gore is my starters. Michael Lorenzen is a relief pitcher. Um, could get some saves here and there. Um, Mike Yastrzemski just went to Gray Albright for seven dollars. That's a pretty decent buy. Uh, Alex Wood. I don't want Alex Wood. Uh, four bucks is not a bad price. Now it's five. Okay, now it's six, and now it's no longer a good price. So I had him as a six dollar pitcher. But there's a number of guys who are still left that I love in the pitching market, so I'm not going to fret at all. I can pretty much mark down. Who I want at pitcher because I like I said I got twenty two bucks for three spots. So at this point I'm gonna get who I want and not worry about how much I have to pay for him. Um, Kurt Suzuki, I like me some Kurt Suzuki. I'll go six bucks on Kurt Suzuki. Uh, Oh, God, do I want to go eight bucks on Kurt Suzuki? No, I don't. I don't want to go eight bucks. It's a nice buy, Cardi. Cardi, Cardi, seven bucks for uh, Kurt Suzuki is not a bad buy in A only. I should throw out some remaining catchers and try to get people to fill up their slots, though. That's probably what I'll do next. Dustin May. I may not bid at all. I will not bid at all. I do not want you, Dustin May. I do not want to deal with Dodgeritis. Four bucks is not a bad price, though. Not going to do it. Not going to do it. Dustin May is not on my team. Alex Wood went for... Six bucks to somebody, right? Six bucks to Derek Hardy. Jorge Alfaro. Hurts an OBP a little bit, but I like me some Jorge Alfaro. We'll go seven bucks on Jorge Alfaro. I will go seven bucks. I will not go nine. So if you want to go eight, that is your choice. But he will be yours. Seven bucks. Jorge Alfaro. 
the time uh, that we're being delayed kind of makes Hori far more interesting because he can get completely healthy. Starling Castro, second and third base eligible, um, which is always good. And probably going to go cheaper than he should. It's going to play. I just went 10 bucks on him. He went to 12. I'm pretty sure I have him either 12 or 13. He's at 13 now. So goodbye, Starling Castro. It's been fun knowing you. Todd's going to have to spend up on some of these middle infielders. I'm not going to price in force because I'm not going to price in force more than I think he's worth. Uh, oh, it's my turn to nominate a player. Okay. Um, let's throw out Mr. Lucchese because I do not want him. Unless he goes for cheap. Because for a dollar, I'll keep him, but just don't need him. Uh, I have him as a $4 player. He's going for three right now. Yeah, that price on May wasn't bad, but, you know, you can't fill up your roster with too many guys who aren't going to play because um, you, you got to put them on your reserve list, um, and we only have four reserve spots, and there's just not a lot of replacement value. More replacement value in pitching, I guess, but, yeah. Lucchese's going for 9 bucks, which is way more than I'm willing to spend Uh, who was that? That was Wilderman. They're either going to take a break at noon or 12.15 Eastern, so I don't know if it's coming up. One more player and then break. Okay, so we're going to do one more player, then a break. I'm going to go use the restroom, but I'll be right back after I use the restroom. Uh, so I'm also going to figure out more Mackenzie Gore is going to fuck the draft software. Okay, we got Rick Porcello. I'm not interested in Rick Porcello. Porcello. I guess I could just sort by team. Oh, Gore's not in the draft software for some reason. Okay, that's weird. Or maybe did I already get him on my team and I just don't realize it? No. Weird. Okay. That's Mackenzie Gore not in there. Okay, so uh Derek Hardy won Porcello at three bucks. It's not a bad buy for Porcello. Um all right. I'm gonna go use the restroom, guys. Uh and then I will uh I will be back in a few minutes and I think we're taking I don't know, 10 or 15 minute break. So I'll be right back.
Alright, I'm back, guys. I'm back. Alright. Maybe you're on your game. Uh, panic. All right, guys, I'm back, and apparently, uh, um. All right. Mm. All right. We are we are going along here. So right now I have oh let's see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spots left. And I have thirty-nine dollars. So that's about five dollars a player, and I have twenty-two dollars uh, for three pitching spots. About though, I may adjust that. Starting to spend much harder in NL versus NL with lack of depth. Uh, I don't know why I'm typing. I can talk. You guys have to type. Um, yeah, I think star starters and scrubs is a harder uh, in any. Mono league, um, uh, definitely a little bit more in uh, in NL, um, just because you could have so many scrubs on your team. Uh, it's just the replacement value is not there. You really have if you do stars and scrubs, you really need your scrubs to hit um, in order to win a league like this. Uh, I don't tend to like to do that, so that's why I spread out my money a little bit more. I mean, obviously, I let the auction come to me. I just don't overpay on guys and things like that, or I try not to. Overpaid on a couple guys today. That's going to happen. Um, you know, I overpaid on Max Muncy, but I like the positional eligibility he gives me. You know, uh, but I think that's my only real overpay. I mean, I kind of regret the Will Myers one a little bit. Technically, I overpaid on Lewis Brinson because he's got negative value, but that was more for fun. Um, but I'm feeling pretty good about my team. I'll run down my team real quick before they jump back on. Uh, I've got Jorge, Ofal oh, Jorge Alfaro at $7, Max Muncy at 30 Matt Carpenter at 13 Garrett Hampson at 12 Louis Brinson at 1 Christian Yelich at 43 um, Andrew McCutcheon at 18 Shogo Akiyama at 14 Will Myers at 10 Uh and then my pitching staff is Hader at 23, Paddock at 22, Musgrove at 13, Mackenzie Gore at 5, Michael Lorenzen at 2, and Mark Melanson at $8. Cool blue 100s. That's what I smoke. Only for like another day or so because I'm, I'm really going to try hard to quit here this week. Um, so as soon as I run out of the pack and a half I have left, I'm going to try to be done because with this – coronavirus thing i know it hits smokers or reports are that it hits smokers uh, a lot harder than it hits everybody else so if i can quit smoking before i get coronavirus that'd probably be for the best so um still a lot of great talent out there especially in the pitching department so and having the amount of money i do i believe i would say i've got 40 or no, i've got 39 bucks uh, left and I believe that is the oh no Fred Zinke has a bunch of money oh I did not see that and Todd has a bunch of money so I should be able to get the pictures I want we'll see uh, um, I know there's a way oh I can look at the draft board like this oh whoa 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 can we refresh that so I can actually see it? Um, well, wait, let's just close out of that. Um, I don't. I don't know why it's doing this. Okay, let's do it by team. That didn't do anything by position. 
Aha. Um, so this is really weird. I don't know why this is doing this. Um, because there should be two catchers. Oh, it's fucking dark. What the hell? God damn it, Fantrax. Um, okay, so a couple people have two catchers already. A couple people have no catchers already. Okay, that's interesting. All right. And he only has oh, four pitchers, four pitchers. So Todd's really going to control the end game here. Uh, Todd's got a lot of money, and Fred Zinke has a lot of money. Todd needs first base, third base. He's got Castro. He can move. Who the hell is this? He's got John Birdie, so he can move. Okay, so he's going to – Todd's going to control the board for a little while. I'm going to figure out who Todd likes. Uh, try smoke-free app. I actually have a smoke-free – or listen, I did have a smoke-free app at one point. I'll definitely try it. But for me, it's just about, you know, starting back in three minutes. Um, I'm going to run the projections on where we uh, are. Um, oh, projections is not liking my team a lot. Um, a little more power. Oh, no. No, I don't need more power. Um, likes my offense. Oh, I had it upside down. <laughs> projections do like my team a lot. And I'm not using these projections. These are the Rotowire projections. Um, I had it ranked by most amount of total points on uh, on the bottom for some reason. So uh, projections have me in second place right now, according to Rotowire. Uh, I need some more strikeouts. Okay. I need some more wins. And that's pretty much all I'm... Oh, and looks like RBIs. But I'm okay everywhere else, pretty much. So, still a lot of... Um, you know, I have the fewest... Me and Cardi have the fewest amount of players needed left. So... And you import APC projections into the river. I don't believe you can. I wish you could. That'd be awesome. That would make my life so much easier. But I don't believe you can. You used to be able to edit the projections, and I don't even know that you can do that anymore. Um, oh, you can add a player. Which should be good. Uh <laughs> San Diego is a pitcher. Uh, pitcher. Got him for five bucks now. Now my shit's back up to date. <sighs> okay, good. Oh, and then my draft software just freaked out. All right, well, now that's at least. So 39 bucks left, nine players left to get. Oh, eight players left to get. Because <laughs> they have this extra player because of the swing position. Hey, thanks, Matt. I like my team so far. I definitely have some issues in the infield. Because um, I still need a second baseman corner in the middle. Though I can move Garrett Hampson or Muncy to second and fill shortstop for a first. So I've got I've got positional flexibility. Which I love having. Um, so, all right, starting back up again. Fred Zinke gonna throw someone out, and Fred has some money, so it'd be interesting to see if he's gonna throw out someone that he's interested in or not. Because it's it's time to spend if you haven't yet. Brinson does bring the whole team together. I just you know. You know, Brinson, if I'd thrown him out late in the draft, he probably would have gone for two bucks. 
All right, so Travis Darno is up um, for auction. I am not a Travis Darno guy, uh, so I will not likely be in on him unless I decide to pair Darno. Um, right now he's at six bucks. I have him as a seven dollar player, um, so I don't mind missing out on that because Darno's health history is. No we bueno. Derek Hardy, all right, catcher. All right, six dollars for Darno. Uh actually uh I'm gonna I'm gonna get Francisco Mejia into my queue because he's another guy I'm like not interested in, but other people will be, especially as we start running out of catchers. All right, Alex Baum, another guy I'm not interested in. So, um, I'm interested to see if he's in the fucking software. That's a little brutal. Oh, he is. Okay. The software has him as negative $14. Um, I don't necessarily know if I believe that, but I, I don't want a ton of minor leaguers because I already got Gore. Um, he went to Brian Walton for two bucks. As Drupal Cabrera, here's a guy I could be somewhat interested in. Multi eligible. Um, do I want to get him a bidding war with? I got him as a $5 player, and now he's at $5. Okay. Well, Todd needs to fill in the infield, and Todd needs to spend some money. So he can, he can spend the $7 on him. That's fine with me. Oh. All right, Cabrera. Uh, Seven dollars. Todd Zola. All right. Starting to cash already went. He's still in the drop software. That's not good. Let me figure out where Sterling Castro went. Uh, Rick Porcello, Lucchese, God damn it, Johnny Cueto. I'm not gonna be interested in Cueto. Let's find Starlin Castro and how much he went for. Lucchese Castro went for thirteen dollars to somebody. But every time someone bids, it fucking going once. Um, going twice. I think I already passed him. Uh, he didn't miss anything. Starling Castro went to Todd Zola for thirteen dollars. All right, Johnny Cueto got six dollars for Johnny Cueto. Can't even find Cueto in your other is. Six dollars. All right, so we got Tony Watson. I got enough relievers, and there's still other ones I like. Wait, no. Cueto went to Gray. Okay. Tony Watson. I don't think he's the closer. <laughs> so, and if he is, it's not going to be a lot of games to save in San Francisco anyways. So, but five dollars is not an overpay. Not fifty-six dollars. Five dollars to Brian. I think yeah, Brian. Evie, Evie Bronson. Bronson. <laughs> Branson. You should. You missed Branson. Uh, Wade Miley for a dollar. I'll go three dollars on Wade Miley. Uh, that's just. Too much of a discount. <laughs> yeah, Wayne Miley is like a five or six dollar pitcher, so I'm, I didn't even look, but yeah, I'm pretty sure I had him somewhere around there. I'll, I'll take him for three dollars. So nineteen dollars 
for two pitchers. <laughs> I went from two, but it went to two as I was clicking it, so I got him for three. But I'll, I'm okay with that. Freddie Galvis for a dollar. Do not care about Freddie Galvis. Oh, that is a good lineup there. Galvis. Going once. Going twice. <sighs> All right. Yeah, Miley was very good. I mean, what's my favorite buy? It, Mackenzie Gore for five bucks. My favorite buy. That's there's no question about that. I I literally yelled. Um. Yeah, no, I like Miley this year. He's he's a great cheap guy. Um, Brandon Kinsler. People are throwing out the the crap closers uh, now. Um, so people who are going for saves are just gonna go overpay or whatever. Because um, like right now, Brandon Kinsler's going for uh, five bucks, and um, who? Oh, Freddie Galvis. I forgot to put him in. Freddie Galvis went for. Seven bucks. Um, look for seven bucks. Uh, to Peter. Uh, Ian Happ. Here's a guy I could be interested in, even at the cost of filling up my swing spot. So let me take a look and see what I got him for. This is the part of the auction where you can make some profit. Going once. Going once. He's already at 10 bucks, though. Going once. I have him as an $11 player. I feel like they're going to be better deals. Um, okay, so uh, I got him in, and then uh, who was the pitcher that went right before that? Kinsler. Um Okay, I've got guys available on this that aren't actually available, so that's not good. Um, okay, so Kinsler went for, I think, five bucks to Zola. Austin Riley's up now. Kinsler, Kinsler, Kinsler. Uh, five bucks to Zola. I got Melanson for eight bucks, so I feel much better about that buy. Um, Hat. Austin Riley's pretty cheap right now, but I don't want to. Going once. Let's see. Going twice. Uh, Riley went for a buck less than I thought he would. Um, okay. Well, they're gonna have to wait a second because I'm putting guys on. Uh, Steve Gardner got him. Um. Uh, and then I'm going to throw out Mejia. So I don't want him. Austin Riley went to seven bucks to Cockroft. Make sure I have 36 bucks left. Okay, so that's right. Okay. Come on, guys. Spend your money on a catcher. Come on. He yeah, only being five bucks is pretty cheap, though. I'm surprised by that. I mean, I still don't want him. I've already got one catcher. Suzuki's gone. Uh, uh, hmm. Hmm. Emilio Pagan. Hmm. All right. So, am I all caught up? I think I am. So for sure. What the hell? Why is Schwarber still available in my thing? Sorry, I'm going to have to put this up for a second. Uh, position. All right, where did Schwarber go? Schwarber went to Melnick. So, 
Uh, Melnick, got a Schwarber for $24. Who we've been? Oh, Descalfani. Mm, I don't know that I want to spend eight dollars on him though. Um, shit, that was one of the guys that I was thinking about. I got caught up. Okay, well, here goes Descalfani, but still went over my price point. There's still a ton of pitching left. I've got two spots, probably for a starter and then a reliever. Oh, I need to go back to my team. Um, Victor Caratini. I go. Do I want to go two dollars on Caratini? Somebody go $2. There you go. Okay. Going once. And I would have gone two. But I wasn't going to go more than that. It's a good buy, though. Caratini, Caratini. I love looking at the difference between, um, I said Zinke. Cole Calhoun. Here, can uh, Todd spend some of his money now? Um, Kirtini went to Zinke. Going once. $5 for Cole Calhoun. That seems silly. Going once. Uh, $10. I don't fill my fucking thing. This is a cheap price, and... Good. All right, we got some. We got the two guys with the most amount of money, kind of bidding now him up. He he should be going for more than ten bucks. Now he's going for thirteen, fourteen. Okay, cool. Now I don't feel so bad. Update my draft sheet here. Those guys are all gone. He's gone. Blanco's gone. Will Myers, he and Hep are gone. A lot of outfielders still left. Still a lot of outfielders. 14 bucks for Cole Calhoun. Uh, 14 bucks for Cole Calhoun. Zola. <laughs> Zola needs to spend some of that money. Now he doesn't have the most. Uh, Fred's got the most, and then I'm second. But I've got only eight or seven players left to fill. So we'll see what Phil wants to do here. Um, I can also use that swing spot for my pitching if I want. I don't know that I want to do that, but Wilmer Flores. Flores is a $4 player, and he's at $4. So, all right, Zinke, you can go ahead and take him. Dun, dun, dun. How many even people are even watching this right now? Eh, a few. A few of you guys are watching. I don't know why. Do you have anything better to do on a Sunday? Go to church or something. Go watch football. Oh, wait. Go watch baseball. Wait. Uh, go watch basketball. Wait. Justin Smoke. Here we go. Going to spend some money on Mr. Smoke. Somebody is at least. Um, who am I? Who, who am I gonna be fighting with? I just bid seven. Oh shit! I just bid fifteen dollars on Justin Smoke. That's way too much. Oh, that's a fucked up. Uh, oh well. He's gonna walk. He's gonna walk. Oh, I spent too much money on Justin Smoke. Okay, well, there's my first real mistake. But I need a little bit more power. And he's better in OBP. And no, 
I can assign him. Whew. All right, so I can move Muncie to second, Smoke to first. Yeah, he may. I got a lot of brewers, though. I got three brewers. Yeah, I should have. I should have stopped it. Probably 13, but going 15. Ugh, okay. I feel good, though. I feel good. I got money still a little bit. 22 bucks for six players. Though most of that's supposed to be for pitching. But... I think I'm going to end up having to move my pitching money over. Uh, but at least I won't be – I'm not going to leave money on the table. That's for damn sure. Hate this this is so silly having it dark like this. I'm looking at who's got who. Um man, I hate how they have this set up because now I, I can't read anybody's shit. Um okay, who's that? That's Derek. How much money does Derek have? He had a lot of money at one point. Pablo Lopez. Derek's got 32 bucks. Okay. Going once. Going twice. All right. Pablo Lopez to Derek for. I don't know. Gray one. Lopez. For $6. And then he won Mats for five dollars. Oh no, he wins Mats for six dollars as well. Going once. Hauser. Hauser at nine bucks. I'm, I don't want to do nine bucks on Hauser. So what can happen? Hauser with the Zola. I like that buy. I'm just not willing to do it right now. Eight bucks. Didn't he get Descalfani too? He did get Descalfani at seven bucks. Okay. Well, something's wrong with Zola's team on this. Because he shouldn't have this kind of money. Who are you at? Who? AJ Pollock. Okay, I'm okay. I'm missing out on Pollock. Okay, I gotta figure out what's wrong with Zola's team. You're on the clock. You should have. I heard you the first time. Zola should have one pitcher left. He does. And then I must have a price wrong somewhere. Okay, I gotta nominate someone. Um, let's throw out Jan Gomes. Uh, what did I type in wrong here for Zola? Sorry, guys. Um, I'm just trying to figure out why Zola, who has, says has $17, has negative money in my thing. Because he doesn't have Syndergaard, does he? Okay. Who's got Syndergaard? Oh, that's values. Um, uh, no. Okay. Okay. My position. Who's got Syndergaard? Syndergaard. Going once. Going twice. 
Or Syndergaard. Syndergaard, Syndergaard. Okay, that's Phil. All right, I got it. Now I got to figure it out. I'm running behind on my draft software now. Steve Gardner took. Um, Gomes for three dollars. Okay, I'm gonna need to just ditch my draft software until the next break. Miles Nicholas is up. Okay. Going once. Okay. Sorry guys, I'm just uh, I'm just trying to catch up on some stuff and you figure out where uh, Mr. Mejia went, Steve Gardner. Things are moving fast. Tyler Molly, Miles Mikolas went for six bucks. Ross Stripling went for four bucks. Going once. Six bucks. Going twice. Mikolas went to Cardi. Uh, Phil Hertz took Ross Stripling. Four bucks for stripling. That's a good price on stripling. Paid too much for him last year. And Tyler Molly uh, went for two bucks. I like that price. Two Going bucks on twice. Molly. Who are we bidding on it? Oh, Cano. Oh, jumped in. Oh, fuck. Going I want Cano. I want Cano. I'm going to go nine dollars on Cano. <sighs> oh, I just spent nine dollars on him. All right, I'll take that. Uh, go get my guys, right? Um, Ray spent two dollars on him, and I just spent nine dollars on Canal. All right, I've got twelve dollars, and now I need five players. So now I'm at the mercy of everybody else. Uh, I've got a spreadsheet in on paper that I'm just marking guys off. But I'm also using draft software just to keep track of my uh, categorical Going balance. Once. Going once. I like my team. So or at least projections do for Rare Wire. Though I'm, I'm not using their projections in terms of drafting. Key boom for seven bucks. That could be a good buy. It could be an awful buy. Uh, is there... Just, what, just going away and using it away from this place. Yeah, well, usually I'm not having to draft. Usually I'm doing the software and not having to do it on, uh, on, you know, online. I don't like doing auctions online because um, now I'm having to use two computers. But typically, I don't. Um, Garrett Cooper, he could be an interesting guy. Going once. Um, Oh. Going once. Going twice. I'm gonna let Cooper go for four bucks, but that's a good price. But there's still plenty of guys out there. Uh Jonas Cespedes. Cespedes. Uh that was Brian Walton one. Uh Cooper for four bucks. I like my team. I hope baseball gets played this year. 
in person actions where I want to spend my time reading and having fun. I do, and that's why I don't use so much stuff. Um, uh, Phil Hertz just got Cespedes for two bucks. That could be an insanely good buy. Um, you know, if he uh, actually plays. Question is, will he? All right, I don't even know where Cespedes. Oh, there is. Right, well, I lost him again. Who we been on? Uh, Nick Ahmed. Yeah, I don't want to spend nine bucks on Nick Ahmed. That's why I went the extra buck on on Cano. Cespedes for two bucks for. Uh, it was it was Phil, right? Um, nine bucks on Nick Ahmed. Jesus Christ, that's just running out of money. Nine bucks to Cardi. Who we could we've been on? Obert. I don't care about Obert. Do not want to call her out a closer. Um, that was that was Cardi. Uh, Cockroft won over for two bucks. That's actually, I mean, in all things considered, not a bad price. Two bucks for Mr. Cockroft. We have Sandy Alcantara. It was going to go for way too cheap, but I have my two last pitching spots pegged out unless they go for too much but we're starting to get into that point where people don't have a ton of money and so you're getting the discounts he's at four bucks i have alcantara as maybe you don't have my can't even find alcantara on my sheet Probably not a good sign. Oh, uh, I was on Alcantara as a negative player. <laughs> there you go. Quintana. We go from Alcantara to Quintana. Alcantara. Going once. To Quintana. Alcantara went for four bucks to Gray Albright. And now we have Quintana going for five bucks to Fred. It's time for me to nominate a player, and they keep telling me over and over and over again. And I understand that. But uh, I'm not, I'm not going to just throw a random person out there. Okay. Um, I want to go to all. Let's see what I want to throw out. Uh, you know what? I'm going to throw out someone I want and see what happens. At least then I know. So, uh, I'm going to go to Daniel Hudson for three bucks and let's see what happens. Um, you know, some people are like, oh, throw out guys you don't want all the time, especially at the end. You don't want to do that. You want to, you want to. When you feel a lull in the market, throw a guy out and fucking hope that Steve Garner doesn't bring you up. Oh, man. God damn it, Steve. All right. That was five bucks. But I think he's the closer. Five bucks. Which means I have eight or seven bucks left for five or four players. Seven bucks for four players. But a lot of flexibility. I only have one pitcher spot. Unless I want to add a pitcher. John Gray. I just popped on John Gray because that's way too cheap. Well. I just bought John Gray for four bucks because that was way too cheap. Um, 
So not the guy I had pegged for my last pitcher spot, but the one I'm willing to take. So, uh, now I can always use my swing position if I need to, but um, right now I have nine pitchers, so I've got my nine pitchers. Question is... Cannot bid over your maximum, which is currently one dollar. Is my max? Oh. Going once. All right. Well, I thought I had more. Oh no. Going once. Now I'm at one dollar players. So here we go. This is the end game part. The one dollar players, rest of the way. So, I guess uh, I can just chill for a little bit. So I'm going to have, uh, looks like one, two, three, four $1 players on my roster because I already have Brinson at a dollar and I got three more spots. So a dollar catcher, fine. A dollar infielder of some sort because I have so much positional flexibility. Um, I can move guys around. So actually, I'm just going to move Muncie to my CI and Cano to my second base. So I'm looking for an MI or a CI. Uh, and a one dollar catcher. So question is who are gonna be my one dollar players at this point? So now's the time to ask questions because I'm, Oh no. See that's who I want. I wanted Samarja instead of John Gray, but Gray at four dollars just felt like such a good buy. And I wouldn't have gotten him. Well, I guess I could have gone up to $4 on them. So, you want to run down your prices and prices? Yeah, i got time. Uh, Alfaro for $7, uh, Smoke for 15 Cano for 9 Carpenter for 13 Hampson for 12 Muncie for 30 uh, Brinson for 1 Yelich for 43 McCutcheon for 18 Akiyama for 14 Myers for 10 Hater for 23, Paxton for 22, uh, Musgrove for 13, uh, Mackenzie Gore for 5, Lorenzen for 2, Melanson for 8, Wade Miley for 3, Daniel Hudson for 5, and John Gray for 4. I don't think Lynn Blom, Lynn Blom hasn't gone yet. So now we're on Jesse Winker. He's going for 7 bucks. Um you know, I I wasn't in on Lindblom. I'm still not really in on him. He has looked impressive in spring. So three spots fill and only three dollars. That's why you can't bid more than one. Yeah, that's that's exactly why. But what threw me off was so for the swing position, you can do anybody. You can be a pitcher or a hitter instead of a fifth outfielder, um, like normal leagues. Uh and so but Fantrax doesn't um uh Limbone's gonna go for more than a dollar. He's he's uh, been been right now. He's already at four. Um. So uh. So uh. But uh. Bu 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 um. So the way they had to set it up on Fantrax, because Fantrax can't do a swing position, was to do an extra UT spot and an extra pitcher spot. We can only fill one of them though. So, uh, but mine's still empty, so I can make a decision on whether I want it to be a pitcher or a hitter. Right now, um, my team doesn't really need much. So I feel like I'm pretty good in every category right now. Um, so I've also stopped updating draft software because other people uh, uh, just because it's become too much with the end game here and talking to you guys. So who is Zola taking so far? Uh, Sam Hilliard is going to go for five bucks here. Uh, Zola still needs a lot. So Zola's got real Muto for 24 Castro for 13, uh, $7 on Cabrera, $12 on birdie. 
uh, $20 on Charlie Blackman, $30 on Starling Marte, $24 on Ozuna, $14 on Cole Calhoun, um, the bidding on Anibal Sanchez right now, Kirby Yates for 18, Brandon Woodruff for 21, Sonny Gray for seven, Carlos Martinez for 13, Kinsler for five, Tuscafani for seven, and $8 on Hauser. I really like Zola's team. He still has a lot of spots to fill, though. So what is that? Players left for Zola. Um, uh, I can't find where Zola is on this thing. Uh, oh, so he's got eight players still to fill. That's a lot at this point. Well, I mean, everybody does except for me. I need three players. Everybody else needs, you know, more. <laughs> uh, Adam Frazier just got thrown out. So he's at $3, now $4. So I'm now looking. Who are my dollar players here? Um, that could be a dollar player. So I don't know. We'll see. Uh, who do you think is my best value so far? Uh, let me go back to my team. Is now Matt Carpenter was a good value at 13 bucks. I felt, um, uh, Akiyama, I think was a good, uh, buy at 14 bucks. Melanson's probably my best value. I had him as like a $13, $14 closer and I probably $13 closer. I can double check. Who are bidding on Corey Dickerson? Um, Melanson, I had at nine dollars, I got him eight dollars, so not that good of a buy, actually. Um, so, uh, no, I got a number, I don't have like any like buys where I'm like, oh, that's huge value, but uh, yeah, the problem is right now is people have too much money left. And so just about everybody I throw out is going to get sniped on me. But you also don't want to bid a dollar on someone you don't like. So you got to kind of find those guys that you feel okay about, um, that you'd be happy with them on your roster, but that you don't necessarily love. Um, so like this guy is probably who I'm going to throw out. Because, well, I like Corbin Burns. I don't need to have Corbin Burns. Do you spend too much too quick? No, I'm happy with who I got. Um, you know, there are a couple buys there that I probably could have backed off on. Um, you know, Smoke and Cano. Uh, I, I overpaid on Smoke. That that I think that was a mistake. Um, especially because uh, oh, drop suspended. Um, uh, okay, there's a question about, uh, um, Question about what's people are confused by the extra player. Fill the opposite swing with a one dollar scrub. This is people need to pay attention when shit's going on. Um, so no, I didn't spend too much too quickly. What I did do was pay up on a couple guys that I wanted because I didn't like what was going to be left on the market, uh, which is fine, um, because I feel like I got some good deals all kind of around the horn. Uh, you know, because now we're in the real cheap part of the auction, and, uh, and uh, there's still people with money left, uh, though. Some of the people with money left don't have a lot of players to fill.
people are really confused by this. And this is a problem about doing an auction with weird rules online. So, uh, um, <laughs> fucking people, dude, pay the fuck attention. Any thoughts, uh, Todd? Any thoughts on Tout mixed auction? Is Todd in here? I met Justin. Okay. Um, you know, I haven't looked it over. Uh, I was busy kind of prepping for this. Oh, okay, now I can nominate. All right. All right, I just threw out Corbin Burns. He's taken immediately from me, so that worked out exactly the way I wanted to. Yeah, Phil Hurt's gone for two bucks. That's a good price. Uh, yeah, no, I haven't. I haven't looked at the top mixed auction yet. I haven't looked at the results. Um, so, honestly, I haven't looked at the results for any of the auctions other than my own. I looked at AL a little bit, but uh, I'm sure Jason and I'll talk about the AL at some point uh, since he was in it. Um, but and I'm sure I'll, I'll follow the points one. They had to have points. Austin Hedges for a dollar. Should probably figure out what catcher I want. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see how many people have a catcher, though. Or two catchers. Oh, I hate you, Fantrax, for doing it this way. Lenny Melnick, Tristan Cockroft, both don't have catchers. And there's a number of people who only have one. Um, Cockroft gets to choose what catchers he wants. Going once. Going once. Maybe I'll just look for a bunch of catchers in my queue for right now. I know I like Tyler Flowers. Walter or Walters is at least a decent um I uh vote. I'm just gonna throw catchers until I get one. Oh he's on Diaz, he could have been a guy. Well, I wouldn't have gotten him in a dollar apparently, so I guess Stallings. Ugh. Would you buy a car from Colin Weatherwax? Yeah, because they're super cheap there. You ever watch those auctions? If you follow them on Facebook, um, uh, those auctions, I mean, those cars go super cheap. Uh, power! What? Yeah, no, that, that video is hilarious. Yeah. Um, Still a lot of guys left. Still a lot of guys left. Going once. Going once. Hmm. Going once. Jason Hayward going for four bucks right now. People just spending the money. Just spend, spend, spend. Going once. Uh. Tout, 14 players tout mix went for 40 plus dollars. Yeah, that, that seems about right. I mean, I don't necessarily know that all of them should go for 40 plus bucks, but it's a mix, so there's a lot more replacement value. When is the main event draft uh, still happening? I hope it's still happening. I don't know when it's going to be. I think they're kind of waiting for more information for Major League Baseball before they schedule them all, but that's going to be a nightmare for them because they're going to be a bunch of people trying to schedule at the same time. Uh, I'm supposed to do two. One with a partner, one by myself. I mean, I don't know how my partner feels, so I gotta, I gotta check with him and see if he's still in with everything. Um, Steve Gardner spending some money, six dollars on Yankee minor leaguer diagnosed. Everybody's gonna get diagnosed at some point. I mean, that's just 
the way it's going to come down. Um, it'll be interesting to see because, I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, it's, it's, it's crazy right now. It's just crazy. Oh, Tyler O'Neill. He's going to go for more than a buck. I would have loved to have him as my final. Final guy or final uh, outfielder. I should probably just keep looking at who I could potentially get. Um, uh, a lot of crap still out there. Oh, I know a guy I can throw out. Well, I'm, I'm going to go with my catcher strategy. Only me and Derek Cardi with needing three players left. But now things are going to start speeding up. So, 72 $1 players in top mix. That, yeah, well, it's mixed. So people go stars and scrubs so they can get the best players. Right now, Steve Gardner kind of cleaning up in the end game. Won't be able to as much anymore. Well, it's max, but it's still five bucks. But a few people, Brian Walton has eight bucks or a max bid of eight bucks. I think I'm going to go away from my catcher strategy and throw out Mauricio Dubon because I think one, people will spend money on him, we'll get to dollar days faster. Uh, um, and uh, as much as I like Dubon, I don't necessarily want him here. I do like Dubon, though. There's no way I get him for a buck. There's no way I get him for a buck. He's a $5 player. Harrison Bader going for 5 bucks right now. I need this draft to end soon because my back is starting to kill me. We've moved pretty fast, though, all things considered. Started at six, took two breaks. Um, so we've been going for four hours, so I guess maybe not super fast. Um, oh, there goes Jacob Stallings. Catch your time. Uh, he hits the ball hard directly into out. Don't we'll get his X dots. Uh, he also walks, so the average uh, doesn't hurt me in OBP leagues, so or as much. Um, you know, I don't need him to do a ton necessarily. I, I mean, I really feel pretty good about this team, but, uh, you know, $15 was too much. I, I should have stopped at 13 um, especially because I don't know what Aguilar went for, uh, but I'm guessing he went for cheaper. Um, let's see. I'm trying to find Aguilar before they start bidding again. Oh, it's me. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That's my bad. I guess I could just do. What did Aguilar go for? Going once. Going twice. Uh, Aguilar went for ten. Yeah, I think I'd rather have a ten dollar Aguilar than a fifteen dollar. Uh, and a fifteen dollar smoke. So, but oh, flowers. Yeah, it went two bucks. I would want two bucks. Going 
Now I got to figure out what other catchers I want just in case that is what I have to go with. So right now, I guess I'll throw Walters out and hope for the best. Or Steven Vogt. <sighs> Wade Davis, two bucks. There's a two dollar closer. Two dollar closer, but those ratios. Which event do I look forward to more? Uh, Tell I Tout or Arizona Fall League? Mm. That's tough. I'm going to go Tout. The drafts to me, I really, really enjoy, but and I also enjoy hanging out with everybody. Uh, Arizona Fall League was a lot of fun, well worth the money. Highly recommend doing it. Uh, um, but I do like tout. I love I love going to New York and, and hanging out with everybody and um, really BSing. Uh, so it's it that both are a lot of fun. Oh, you know what? I already I know what I'm gonna do. A catcher. I'm gonna I'm gonna. Who are we bidding on here? Joe. Oh, Joey Bart. <laughs> Definitely not who I was thinking about a catcher. I just don't know when he's up. But there's another guy I like a catcher. Um, and I think I can get him for a buck. So I'm going to wait on that. And I'm going to look at hitters. Um, Batanzas. I forgot Batanzas is on the mats. That's, uh, I totally forgot about that. Da, da, da. Let's see. I love how Fantrax has uh, Luis Urias uh, pegged for 15 home runs. I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> um, da, da, da. Lighter nominated. Bidding is now open. Sean Newcomb. Oh. Smoke is a polarizing player, for sure. I mean, some people really like, some people don't. Um, Mm. Spencer Howard. Um, uh, damn, I was kind of hoping to maybe get him in the reserve rounds, but not to be, not to be. I don't need a pitcher, but I can always take a pitcher and then take an extra hitter in the reserves. So. Lighter nominated. Bidding is now open. Mm -hmm. Going once. Going twice. We're on Dexter Fallow right now. Going once. You know, Smoke, the biggest question for me with Smoke twice. is playing time. How much are they going to let him play? So injuries, I'm sure, work themselves out there. But uh, that could be any of your leagues or all of your leagues proceeding as plans uh, or any redrafts on the table. Um, I mean, all my leagues, as far as I know, are proceeding as planned other than, um, other than NFBC kind of got to wait on the main events and figure out what's going on there. Those are my final drafts. So uh, pretty much – after this, I'm pretty much done, except for my few last few NFBC leagues. So, dollar for Derek Cardi on Jake, Jake Arietta. Probably goodbye. I mean, he got hurt uh, on his last outing, but got time. He's got time to. Uh, um, I'm getting used to this new iPhone. Um, 
Uh, Freddie Peralta now going for two bucks. That's a really good buy. I like that. Uh, too many people have money left. Um, I mean, not a ton of money left, but and my notifications are going crazy right now. Would they rather play games in empty stadiums? I think they would. I think if they can figure out a way to do that safely, um, they will play in empty stadiums. But that's still exposing all the players to all the other players, and all it takes is one player to have it, and now you've got you know two teams of 26-man rosters that got it. Frenchy Cordero. There you go. Now some people are spending a little money, three bucks on Frenchy. Um Gotta mute these notifications. All right, we got Jay Bruce. You can have your dollar, Jay Bruce, Lenny. All right, I'm going to throw out my dollar catcher here. Actually, let's do this. There we go. Tyler Stevenson. There's my dollar catcher. I think he's going to be up. Hey, thanks for coming on and coming and join me, Chris. Um, I mean, I would assume it's got to affect the TV revenue. Got my dollar catcher. All right. So now I don't need catchers. I need corner or I need middle. Um, Middle, what do I want? Who's left that I can get for a buck? I can definitely do that. Okay, still a few guys left. Um. Camargo, yeah, he's he's definitely a guy I could go with. I just don't know how much he's gonna play. Um, Camargo, Nico Horner still out there. Chris Taylor still out there. Brandon Crawford still out there. You know, Crawford's gonna play every day, so that's and it only seems kind of gross, but he's gonna play every day. I doubt he goes for a buck though. So, oh. They keep changing the bid limit times to speed things up, which don't get me wrong, I, I get at the same time. Hopefully nobody's computer free. Going twice. Ryan Zimmerman. That wouldn't have been a bad one. Let's see. First base. We've got Jake Lamb keeps moving in my face. I don't believe, though. I don't believe in Jake Lamb being healthy. I believe in the talent. I don't. Luis Urias going right now. I'm not up for a while, so I got some time to kind of. Uh, Phil Hertz won the league in 2019. Um, it was between him and Brian Walton. I was trying to trade with both, uh, you know, halfway through the season, even though I knew I wasn't going to win um, because. If you, the lower you finish in the standings, the less fab you start the year with. Um, and so that's the only reason I made was making trades. Um, I tried to make some trades with Brian. He just wasn't, he just wanted too much. Uh, and so I made, I think, a trade or two with I think, Phil and then a trade with, I think, with Cardi. Uh, and I think that helped push uh, Phil over the top. Although, I mean, his team was so good. Like, he, he, he just. Lighter nominated. Bidding is now open. 
you know, and he I don't he didn't necessarily need to make the trades. I don't think to win the league, but definitely helped solidify things. I think. Um. Yeah, to prevent tanking, um, and keep people engaged, it doesn't always work. So, um, I'm just kind of looking at kind of my values. Nico, they're building on bidding on Nico Horner right now, so he's at three bucks. I don't really need a pitcher, so I'm likely just gonna take hitters. Zach Eflin, that would have been a nice dollar buy. I still feel like there's probably an outfielder out there that I can get. Uh, that's a good one right there. Um, I want hitters only. Why? 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 don't understand why is Tim Tebow up so high in these ranks <laughs> it's not who I'm interested in um, okay everybody either has a max bit of two or three a dollar on fucking uh, on Sean Anderson is a good buy I think he probably will be the closer um, All right. Going twice. So, lady up front, I better. Hmm. You are on the clock. Time to nominate a player. All right, I'm going to fill up my, my swing position, if I can, with Adam Hazley. I have him as a $6 player. And if I get him for a buck, I think that's a pretty nice end of game buy. Nope. God damn it, Cockroft. Tristan, Tristan, Tristan. Why do you hate me so? That sucks. Um, not because I got outbid, but now I've got to wait another fucking round before I can make a bid. Which is why I hate being in dollar days like this. That being said, I still feel okay about where I'm at. Uh... Oh, Nick Marcakis. That's going to be a nice cheap buy for Tristan. Marcakis shouldn't be still around. Marcakis is a $7 player and just got him for a buck. God damn it, people with money, spend. That's just a huge profit right there. And there goes Chris Taylor. Well, he went for two bucks, so more than I could spend. Rockies. Oh, the end game. Oh, the end game. Mm 
Well, sorry, Phil. You didn't. Phil, Phil was trying to bid three dollars on Scott Taylor and didn't go through. Oh God, are we suspended again? Oh my God. <sighs> Where are we at? And there's come on. Maybe I will. Maybe, maybe Carmargo is the guy. Unless he's already gone. Did someone take Camargo? Oh no. Camargo. We could do Brandon Crawford. Anybody believe in Ian Desmond? No one believes in Ian Desmond. Ian Desmond doesn't even believe in Ian Desmond. He's just cashing a check. Maybe Jason Kipnis. Alright. Nominate him for three bucks. <laughs> Scott can't nominate him for three bucks and max bet two. Uh, that sucks. Rolling back people shouldn't happen. All right, I got two bucks for two spots. Middle or corner infielder, and then any player. Is there a pitcher that stands out to me that I really want to get a 10th pitcher? <sighs> Orlando Arcia. Oh, Colin Moran, not a bad dollar pickup. Gonna play. I think I'm gonna. I don't know who I'm gonna throw out here. Tim Tebow is at the top of the ranks list. This is atrocious. I'm assuming that's just because people jokingly take him at the end of a draft. Did someone just take Matt Harvey? Oh, that's the scrub. So that's the roster filler. Um, because I think that means he must be done. Uh, who was that? Brandon Crawford for two bucks. Take him right off my list. All right. Well, oh, seventy-two hundred dollars players are mixed. Oh, that must have been brutal for the end game like this. Dom Smith for a dollar. Not bad. Uh, let's see. Player is now going once. Going twice. So, I don't need the front row. Do you want it? Player nominated. Bidding is now going once. Walters. Uh, we're just at this kind of doldrums spot right now. You are on the clock. Time to nominate a player. 
I don't want to nominate a player anymore. I'm done playing. Oh, all right. God damn it. Threw out Camargo and he fucking took him. Scott. Scott. It has been a while since Lamb did much. Oh, Osuna. Jose Osuna. Oh, all right. Now who the hell am I going to take? Uh, I guess I could take David Bodie. Yeah, I could take Bodie. All right, go for Kipnis. Oh, where's Kipnis? I'm looking for a base. Zach Davies, all right. I need my last middle infield spot or corner infield spot. One of the two. Could be Jake Lamb. It could be David Bodie. Kipnis. Interesting. Is this guy gone? Boop. Ah, there goes David Bodie. So he's not going to be. Um, Alex Dickerson at this point is a good buy. Almost did that, but he's going to platoon. He's playing on the Giants. He's injury prone. Right now, I don't know what I'm going to do here. So, uh, it's the end game. So, we're doing dollar days. Uh, I'm likely going to um, uh, stop this live stream. Well, maybe I'll do the live stream during the uh, during the reserve rounds. Hopefully that'll move fast. Roman Quinn, there's a good decent buy at this point for a buck. Does anybody have more than a buck? Lenny Melnick and Tristan Cockcroft have both more than a buck. Dom Nunez, fake player. So not a real person. Iman Abdullah. Is that Cardi's last? Yeah. So Cardi, I, I don't even know who that is. I'm taking Tebow as my last player. This is my fake player. As long as someone else doesn't do it. Um, I probably shouldn't. Someone might. Uh, someone. Uh, I don't think anybody actually bid on him, but. Uh, Brian Dozier, that's not a bad one, but I'm going to do, uh, if it gets to me, if he gets to me, I'm going to take who I've got in my queue right now. So I'm assuming Lenny is, Lenny still needs nine players. Lenny, why don't you just tell us who you want? Or he needs eight players. Yeah, well, there was going to be my last pick, which was Ian Desmond. Um, I like that buy. 
at this point for a buck, whatever. So I'm going to throw out Eric Sogard and hope the two guys uh, with money left don't take him from me. Sogard is going to lead off sometimes for the Brewers. Boom, Sogard. All right. So now I need one player left and then a scrub player, which is a guy that doesn't count. So uh, let me go find my scrub player. Dun, 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 dun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Going twice. Josh Van Meter gone. Not that I was super interested in him. Lighter nominated. Bidding is now going once. This must be Fred Zinke's, yeah, Going fake player. Zinke's done. Now things are going to start moving because people are finishing. The only, only one player or one person has one spot left. So Austin Voth is a nice two bucks. Lenny with the two dollar hammer. Nobody's being left with money at this point, so it's uh, uh, Miguel Rojas to Scott Wilderman. Um, so now we have to uh, oh man, I've been doing this live stream for almost five hours now. Here we go, Alex Reyes to Phil Hertz. Lenny still needs to fill seven spots. So, who do I want to take here? Because I've got to make a decision pretty quick. Dun, 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 dun. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to take. I guess I could do Jake Lamb here, or I could do it the pitcher. Picture that's worth taking right here. All right. Where are you, Mr. Lamb? Oh, someone took Jake Lamb. All right. Well, that sucks. Dun, 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 dun. I'm going to take Ramel Tapia. Actually, no. You know what? I'm going to take. Josh Rojas. All right. Well, there's my team. Lamb did go. That's true. Now, Rojas is probably going to start here in the minors. Now I've got two guys on my, well, upwards of three guys are going to start here in the minors. Depending on where Kenzie Gore goes. Rojas may not be on my team for very long, but uh, that means I need to. All my reserve picks need to be guys that are going to start the year in the majors. Uh, 
Zone, you, sir, you had the highest bid. <laughs> Player nominated. Bidding is now going once. Going twice. I think I find my scrub pick. Who's my scrub pick? Player nominated. Bidding is now a going once. I'm gonna search by. Going twice. I know. So, you sir, you had the highest bid. My scrub pick's coming up. I got my Hank Conger. That's my scrub pick. Oh man, my back is just not feeling this. Okay. So now it is time to put together my list of guys. For my reserve list, going twice. All right. so I probably want to catch her an outfielder, two pitchers. Uh, oh, actually, no. Ross is my swing, so I can just do anything. So. <laughs> Need guys who are going to play. Or at least they're going to be in the majors. You are on the clock. Time to nominate a player. Um. Oh. No. Oh, I got to do a pitcher. Oh, shit. Sorry. Sorry, guys. I need to do a crap pitcher. Um, let's do. Uh. All right. All right. So now I don't need to nominate or bid because there's only, I think, five people left who've got players to even bid on. Um, so I can just focus on who I want to. Do as my um uh, so I'm I'm just adding names to my list of players uh, that I will be looking at um, in the end game. Oh, Gotta make sure the guy's injured. I gotta make sure how injured. Going once. Going twice. Ooh, that's weird. I don't know why that is there. Ramel Tapia for two dollars. Drop that hammer. Now everybody has a dollar left. There's only and there's only five people. And I know there's only four people. And Peter's adding uh, someone. All right, so let's see. Oh, that's definitely someone I'm interested in. So. Uh, if you guys have any questions, now it's time to ask them. Not very many people watching still at this point because we're at that point in the draft. 
So, uh, oh, Stephen, but I can take him off my list. What does Lenny still have left? Like Lenny's the only person with anything to fill. Uh, he needs either a swing, two pitchers, and a swing position filled. So, and then Scott's still going, and Todd's still going. Jesus. A lot of $1 players here. This is where we really start to get... Oh, that's right. There goes Jason Goodness. All right. Definitely need to my, look at some UT guys. Um, Lighter nominated. Bidding is now open. Go wing twice. Steven Souza. Souza. Let's see who's left. Not many guys around. Um, oh. Player nominated. Bidding is now twice. All right. So now only two people are still drafted. Um, we're just really getting into these uh, these dark days. Dark, dark days. Uh, so I'm just, for those who are still watching and haven't just fallen asleep, I'm just looking at uh, who could be some of my last minute buys. So. Uh, for my reserve, Boxberger just went. Uh, now Todd's about to finish. All right, so we're going to hit the reserve rounds here pretty quick. Um, at least we should pretty quick here. Oh, getting close. I should probably look up some catchers. Oh, there goes Waka. It's off my list. Um, all right, draft's been completed. So now we're moving on over to um, the reserve round. So. One fifty two is more than one night. Is there a snake? Can't remember. We got Lewis Brinson. He was my first throw. Um, so, why is there a separate draft for bench players? That's just the way it's always done. A lot of auctions do it that way. So. Uh, yeah, no. I threw Brinson up for a dollar. Uh, he was like the sixth or seventh player thrown, and um, and I won him for a dollar. And I got a lot of shit. But then you know, Phil Ertz was like, "Well, if later in the draft, I might have gone two dollars on Brinson." Well, then I'm glad I threw him up for a dollar early. So, 
you know, my first two players were uh, Brinson and Yelich. So a really good pairing right there. So if someone said I should have taken the entire Yelich trade on my team. That would have been smart. I would have liked that. Um, oh, Waka's available in the reserve. Let me fuck that up, I guess. That sucks for him. All right, got a few minutes. I'm just going to kind of peruse and figure out um, who I want for my reserve picks. Uh, uh, let's see. Get corner infielders. Um, and you guys are going to play, or at least be in the majors. So I got too many minor leaguers to be going after guys who aren't going to be up. Um, okay. Um, that's done. Uh, that's done. Let's see. I like my team, though. So my team's pretty good, I think. We'll see. You know, it all comes down to what happens. So. <clears throat> Hmm. Interesting. Uh, um, all right, so I'll run down my team for you guys real quick. If you, if anybody's actually paying attention, only like six people watching. So, uh, Tony Walters, Stephen Vart, my catch. Oh, that's not my team. <laughs> that's Lenny's team. Uh, Jorge Faro and Tyler Stevenson are my catchers. Justin Smoke, Cano, Carpenter, Hampson, Muncy, Sogard are my infielders. My outfield is made up of Brinson, Yelich, McCutcheon, Akiyama, Will Myers, and Josh Rojas. Ross may not be on the team for very long. Uh, pitchers, Hader, Paddock, Musgrove, Gore, uh, Lorenzen, Melanson, Miley, Daniel Hudson, and John Gray. So uh, that is my team thus far. And um, we are going to be starting the reserve in a little bit, and that's done on a spreadsheet. So uh, we shall see what is going on here. Uh, but right now I'm just writing down names of guys that could potentially end up on my team in the reserves, and I need to have a lot of those uh, in case people go. Um, so just kind of looking over the remaining pool. Okay. Um, a lot of good lord, you're still going. We're, we're about to start the reserve rounds, taking a break. So we're uh, kind of uh, waiting on that. So uh, we'll see how super swank. I don't know what that means, but sure. Um, definitely at the part of the auction where my back is hurting. So. I'm just kind of looking and seeing who makes sense for me in the reserves. Um, I guess that could make some sense. Uh, I 
It doesn't make sense for my team right now, but I don't mind doing it. He's just a good player. Um, uh, or potentially a good player. Huh. So many crappy players left. Okay. So any player. Uh, right over the dock for all communications. How do we communicate in the dock? Oh, is there a don't know. Oh shit. Okay. We're going. Okay. So Easley's gone. Stanick's gone. Hicks gone. Walker gone. Stamen gone. Okay. Wainwright. Oh, that's a good one. Brett Anderson. I just want to make sure I can spell someone's names right. Anderson gone. Call a Cal control. Okay. All right. Who do I want to take first here? Um, Amir Garrett. Garrett now is on my team. And I have Lorenzen and Garrett. Oh, sup, Swank? Um, Albert Morgan. Go by first base, make sure I'm getting this guy's name right. Yep. Okay. Oh. One T. Okay. Jake Marisnik. Drew Smiley. Smiley was a guy I thought about. Pitching in San Francisco. Don't know that he's good, but. All right, Lenny, you go and then I go. You go and then I go. Someone. Oh. All right, so I think Matt Beatty. Trevor Williams just went. Oh. Need pitchers. Huh? I got one pitcher left on my list already. Absolutely pouring right now. Jesus. I don't know if you guys can even hear that, but 
it is raining and raining hard. So, uh, Yomamoto, I forgot you to up. Mike Leak. <laughs> a lot of innings for a guy in the reserve round. Good innings, I don't know, but innings. Um, so, kind of have an idea of where I want to go here. Uh, question is, do I want to take a catcher or not? Uh, one of my catchers is starting near the minors and Tyler Stevenson, but I think he's going to be up fairly quickly. So, I can always just you know, not worry about uh, my second catcher for a little while. You know, it's either that or you a backup catcher. So just kind of wait on the upside of, of Tyler Stevenson. So number of options here. Oh, I'm leaning back because my back is just killing me right now. I'm going to need to go see a chiropractor after this. Mm. All right. Reserve round should not take this long, guys. Let's do this. I'll do that so you guys can see it. And now's a good time to ask questions. If anybody's got questions or just want to fucking bullshit, I got there. almost a pack of cigarettes during this draft. It's probably not good for me, but quitting soon, so... Who cares? Lane Thomas. There you go. Derek Cardi. What's for lunch? Oh, that's a good question. Maybe a quesadilla? Quesadilla sounds good. I'm hungry. I haven't had breakfast. It's 11 o'clock, so definitely definitely going to eat after this. So, I mean, this is maybe my longest live stream ever. Five hours and 15 minutes in. All right, Cardi, here you go. Oh, we still got more on the horn to do. Brad Miller. I forgot Brad Miller was even playing anymore. You're just exhausted watching me on and off. Yep. It's, uh, it's an exhausting process, at least when you're live in a draft room, you can kind of BS with people. Uh, and, you know tell jokes and things like that. And this, it's definitely closer to me. Aww. Um, you know, online, it's a long time to sit in a fucking chair for an online auction. Uh, Jose Garena. Jose Garena. Not a, bad, not a bad pick right now. I mean, there's no bad pick right now. You could pretty much pick anybody. You could pick retired players and it's not a bad pick right now. Um, all right, who are you going with, Phil? Defending champion Phil Hurts. Taking somebody. Please take somebody. Take two players. You should take two players right now. Because you're on the wheel. Did I see your text? I did see your text. That doesn't surprise me. So, it doesn't surprise me at all. Um, Yimmy. I'm guessing Yimmy Garcia. But, uh, yeah, I, I think that that is... It's, I mean, it's not an awful call or anything like that. Um, completely off your radar. How is he off your radar? Um what, what Yancey's talking about is uh, Vlad Sedler did an article about this year's Yelich. Because a few years ago, when Yelich was like, uh, I want to say around pick like 100 or something like that, he predicted him to like have this amazing year. His first year with the Brewers. Uh, and he did. He won MVP. He was fucking fantastic. Um, uh, and uh, so he did an article called This Year's Yelich, kind of saying this is the guy that's going to do that. Kevin Carlin, that's a good pick. Phil Hurts. Um, Jalen Davis, good pick by Brian Walton. Um, so I'm not going to say who it is because I think people should, you know, if they want to read people's content, they should pay for it. 
Uh, but um, it's not a bad call, but I just don't know that the hype on dude is unreal right now. So, Kyle Wright, there you go. So, for Kyle Wright's probably not going to be in the rotation to start the year, I don't think. <sighs> Looks like they're going to give that role, that fifth starter role to Felix. Um, which actually wouldn't be a bad pick right now. Uh, not going to be my pick, but wouldn't be a bad pick. So, uh, I'm just deciding who my last pick is going to be, or my last two picks are going to be. Um, definitely going to go pitcher and hitter. My last two picks, Andrew Miller, Liza Hernandez. I like both of those picks. Um, uh, so people take injured guys here because they can stash them. Scott has unlimited IL, which is, you know, the way you should play, especially in a mono league. But um, uh, I don't necessarily know that I've got the ability to do that necessarily with what I'm going to be doing here. Um, Christian Pache. Uh, unlimited IL, sorry. Um no, you should have unlimited IL in mono leagues. It's just it's unfair. Your teams just get destroyed by injuries uh, when they happen. So uh, I had a lot of guys on the IL last year. So, but people will stash the pick the pile. I bet you get it better than most. <laughs> That's funny. All right, here we go. I'm gonna double check that the guy I'm gonna take here is still available. I just haven't missed him. Yes. Gonna take a shot. On Mr. Nick Pavetta. <sighs> All right, so there goes Pavetta. Um, uh, and then I want to make sure the last guy I'm going to take. Is still available, and I just haven't missed someone taking him in the end game. Yep, he is. Um, Steven Duger. I don't think, I don't know that Duger's even going to make the opening of your roster. That could be a problem. Could. Could, especially if the guy uh, I'm looking at doesn't make the team, but I think he will. Oh, the question is, which Giants outfielder do I want to take? Oh, well, it won't be Hunter Pence because he's gone. He gone. Fred Zinke got him. Fred Zinke, you sly bastard. You're a little too quick there, Lenny. He hasn't made his last pick. Uh, Fred will trade him to you. Fred will trade anyone to you. You smoking Newport 100s? No, uh, cool one, blue 100s. Uh, close, but no cigar. All right, well, I got a lot of options right here. I'll take a quick look at my roster. Got a lot of outfielders. A fair amount of speed. The question is, do I want more speed or do I want more power? Speed or power? And do I want another infielder? Uh, it's on me. I'm debating what I want to do here, though. Um, oh, what do I want to do here? 
I'm going to go with my original plan, knowing that I can always trade speed if I need it. But Billy Hamilton, potentially with the Giants. I just want to make sure no one accidentally I already picked him. I don't think anybody did. Yeah, uh, Ponce Taylor, and he was another guy to think about. So that's my team. So uh, I'll run it down for you guys uh, one last time before I sign off here. Jorge Alfaro, Tyler Stevenson, Justin Smoke, Robinson Cano, Matt Carpenter, Garrett Hampson, Max Muncy, Sogard, Brinson, Yelich, McCutcheon, Akiyama, Myers, Josh Rojas, who may be my first drop. Um, uh, Hader, Paddock, Musgrove, Mackenzie Gore, Michael Lorenzen, uh, Mark Melanson, Wade Miley, Daniel Hudson, John Gray, and then my reserve picks were Amir Garrett, um, Matt Beatty, uh, Nick Pavetta, and Billy Hamilton. Um, oh, and there goes Jed Lowry. He's the other guy I was thinking of. So, uh, I was thinking about him because he's an infielder and he'd probably start the year on the IL. So stash him, but I didn't think Hamilton would be available via Fab or so. I uh, went well, with Hamilton. You can always have speed and then trade it away. So, or just you know, Hamilton drop a guy like Hamilton. But if Hamilton does play like he's projected to. Uh, even if he sucks, he's gonna um, <laughs> uh, he's gonna be pretty good this year. Uh, uh, just kind of saying goodbye to everybody. All right, um, so that's up. Uh, that's my team. I'm going to turn the screen sharing off here. Um, how am I still streaming live? It's been five and a half hours. So take the screen sharing off. Uh, and uh, oh, back so my back feels a little better. Um, if anybody has anything they want to say before I wrap this up. Let me know. Um, has anybody been listening to Sirius as well? Who they have on? Uh, I guess they obviously didn't want to talk to me. Uh, hey, I'm gonna try to keep doing. See, can I recap the whole five hours? I just did. You just missed it. Rewind. <laughs> just recap my whole team. Um, so, uh, and I'll, I'll tweet out my team here. Uh, in a little bit um, so people can see it. Uh, but uh, uh, I can't remember what I'm going to say. Oh, yeah, I'm going to keep doing these live streams. Um, you know, people seem to like them, uh, especially now that I got this uh, StreamYard program. Uh, you know, when I do my main event, I'll likely stream that one. I don't know if I'll stream the one I'm doing with a partner. I don't know how he feels about that. So, um, but we don't know when the main event's going to be. That's the question. Um, uh, so, uh, yeah, it's uh, – I like my team. I think you – know I mean, top of the projections off of Rotowire, I believe I was – I'm still at the top. I got to finish adding in all the final players that people took. But uh, I think it's a team that's got a shot to win. You know, obviously injuries and, and things like that and when the season starts and all that are going to determine a lot. So – um, but I'm not leaving the draft feeling like I'm behind really in any category. I've got strong OBP, I've got speed, I've got power, I've got wins and strikeouts, and I got saves. So um, I'm feeling pretty good about my team. 
thus far. Um, we'll see what happens. Uh, so, um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this five and a half hours of me talking to myself for, for the most part uh, and talking about the auction. So uh, hopefully people enjoyed it and got something out of it. Uh, I will uh, I will talk to you guys another – actually, you know what? I'm having another smoke. I'm having another smoke. I'm going to get you the bullshit. Anybody's got any questions? Because I've already been through fucking a pack of cigarettes during this draft. The only added benefit to drafting online as opposed to drafting live is I definitely would have gone through three cigarettes maybe the entire draft. So um, anybody's got anything they want to talk about? Questions? Now's the time. Uh, so raining pretty good here. I'm glad my internet didn't cut out at any point. So you can see what my Twitter notifications look like. Whoa. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Oh, you guys can't see my Twitter notifications. <laughs> Not sharing the screen, but you can now see the office. You can see how much garbage I still have, even though I organized it a little bit better so I could sit comfortably. Um, but yeah. So, um, what do you guys got going on? Why isn't anybody talking in the chat? Talk to me, people. Let me know what's going on. Otherwise, I'll just end the stream and smoke my cigarette in peace. Uh, yeah. Mm. All right, well, nobody's saying anything. We only got five people watching at this point, so. Uh, I'm going to sign off. Uh, great talking to you guys. Uh, thanks for those of you who stuck around for the majority or all of it. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, like I said, I'll do another one of these for my main event draft. Um, and then I may just start doing kind of instead of podcasts, doing streams like this. I can turn them into podcasts or not. We'll see. Um, but uh, should be, uh, you know, people seem to be liking these, so I'll, I'll keep doing them. Uh, but this is me signing off after five and a half fucking hours. Uh, talk to you guys soon.